Let's get right back into this. We got Nick DiPaolo joining the Opie and Anthony show today. He's going to be at Caroline's tonight. One night only. Two shows. Two shows. One night only. Caroline's tonight here in New York City, Times Square, 212-757-4100. If you can't make uh, tonight's show uh, for other uh, 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 comedy dates, go to nickdip.com. I was just thinking about what you were saying. About what? Uh, the whole sex in the city thing. Yeah, yeah. Nick, Nick just had a, a great rant on the whole Sex in the City thing, but we were in commercials. He, he couldn't help himself. Well, I was listening to you guys on the way in here laughing my ass. I mean, like, it's news. It's breaking news that it was mostly chicks that went to the movie. <laughs> it's written by the gayest Bruce Valanche type idiots. The show's garbage. It always was. And, yeah. uh, and it's a big, oh, there was no men there. Is that how feminized society is, really? Yeah. That you, you disappointed men? Who's going to show up to the thing? Ray Lewis and you know Art Donovan and guys from World War II vets. I mean, <laughs> World War II. I can't even rel relate to this crap. I really. Wearing their VFW hats. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> walked in. Finally, Sex a movie in for us. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. I like Charlotte. <laughs> right. Oh, please. I, I can relate to Carrie myself. <laughs> we, le we are in the height of mediocrity you know, that, that, oh, that yeah. you can even make a movie like that. I played this earlier, and uh, knowing that Nick was coming in today, I was thinking about you as, uh, as I was listening to this clip. I want to play it again. It's really quick. But basically, <laughs> this, uh, this reporter was on the street. And commenting that it was only men that went to see Sex in the City for the most part. But listen what she she says about her man. Listen to this. Well, are you headed out to see the new Sex in the City movie tonight, ladies? Well, don't try to bring your boyfriend. Or husband, for that matter. Looks like the average man has no desire to sit through two hours of cosmos, stilettos, and female bonding, and all of fashion <laughs> stuff. And Tamsin Fidel's live at Regal Cinemas in Times Square with more Tamsin. Well, good morning. My husband has no choice. He is sitting through it, hopefully this weekend. <laughs> How thick oh. are her ankles? <laughs> oh. What kind of butch haircut? But, to, but there was no humor. Like, she was trying to make a little joke. She wasn't. She's, She's dead like, serious. No, he has no choice. He will be at the theater with me Yeah. if he knows what's good for him. Didn't you guys say he was in a wheelchair, or was that just a joke? Oh, that's just I, a joke. Oh, was that you not? And yeah. I was crying on the way in here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a fat guy in a wheelchair. He'll obviously. sit through it. He's got no choice. Well, he doesn't. <laughs> he puts something in the spoke so he can't back out. <laughs> Just chalk up the wheels. Yeah, <laughs> obviously the clip needed humor, and that's, you know, thank yeah. God Jimmy was there to deliver. Did you hear her? Louis? Yeah, oh, he has no He's choice. Got no choice. She really believes that. Yeah. Really? How about a short right hand to the tip of your nose? <laughs> that's a choice. <laughs> Have a seat in your beanbag chair, you bon bon eating. <laughs> I can't wait to get off the earth. I used to be depressed. I was 46. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Closer to just leaving the planet. Honest to God, it's got to be better. <laughs> it's got to be better, more peaceful. I don't know. Like, Sex in the City that's got no men, and Nick goes, I can't wait to get off the earth. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone in this room just overreacts. Yeah. yeah, really. Well, fun. you know, the well, girls are back in the city. I want to be dead. <laughs> Not just about that, but everything in general. Just, I don't know. This, I mean, come on, Iron Man. Sorry. You know, sorry. I used to like girls when I was in fifth grade and played baseball. Yeah. Uh, you know, is there anything out there for me? Sex in the City, Iron Man, nerdy, stupid yeah. Anything? Nick, or I'm chick stuff. Raging Bull 2. Where's the next cuckoo's nest? Uh, right. Uh, midnight. What I hear is sex in the city. <laughs> I hear they're all nuts. <laughs> you know, Nick is absolutely right, but I'm starting to also think that Nick uh, gets bothered by the sun every day, too. No, I'm not that. All not right, really. good. <laughs> Although that, you know, I Any noticed other... a few age spots on my forehead. I was out for 10 minutes yesterday. <laughs> Any other example? <laughs> I look like McCain's back. I have all these welts, and yeah, that ozone, there's nothing wrong. I'm starting to believe all these green, hippie, whale-saving fags have to have a point. Because you said Nick's bothered by the sun, and he actually addressed the... No, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It has, like, no, the sun's fine by me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I should have just not acknowledged that. Uh, so you'd be saying that tongue-in-cheek, but... He's right about that, though. When uh, you get a little older and you go out in the sun, all of a sudden it's like, what is all these spots that appear just because I got a little sun? Well, no. I, I went out at my bathrobe to get the newspaper what's that a 30 second trip i come back i had a red v on my chest from where my robe was well i mean that shouldn't happen how strong is this sun these seriously days? man it's definitely it's uh, uh paul mccain did yeah. you see the chart of everything wrong with him other than his politics what <laughs> 
He's no Republican. They but, went from head to toe with everything. Oh, that's right. Oh, prostate. Wow. And he's a tough old bugger, though. No You're not going to kill him. No he kidding. had bayonets stuck into his groin area. <laughs> yeah. I think we oh, put that up wow. on onaradio.com a day or two ago if you want to check it out. But, wow, there's a lot wrong with Mr. McCain physically. I know. It was like reading a checklist of a 77 Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> stuff falling off and yeah. rusting. <laughs> you know, it's, I think it's still struts. worth it. And then at the end, you're like, but I think it's still worth buying. Absolutely. I, just, I think I could fix this up a little bit. I just like his crazy smile. It's like, you know, after you take a good dump on a Sunday morning, you got that grin. He, he looks, he's crazy. <laughs> Does that clear? I don't even know if that clears. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, we're going to move on to something that uh, <laughs> just like, yeah, poo poo. That's fine. Well, um, <laughs> funny you should say that. As we move on, this is a great clip. Regis farting on live TV. <laughs> what a segue. He just lost it right there in his it, uh, chair on his stool. Uh, for the people that want to jump ahead, <laughs> <laughs> Regis farts on YouTube if you want to go there. And it'll be up on, is it up on onaradio.com? <laughs> in seconds. All right. Uh, let's great in this clip. Although I don't hate Regis, if he farted and then just grabbed his chest and fell face first into a coffee cup, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> like not that you want to see the guy die necessarily. But oh, that's hot. <laughs> if he has to die, Ow. what a way to go! <laughs> I want to see a clip of Kelly Ripa spotting. <laughs> 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 well, God bless Kelly in this clip because, you know, when this type of thing happens, uh, your your reaction is to make believe it didn't happen. Kelly's laughing hysterically, and Regis just wants to move on. Saw me. I doubt it. Anyway, uh, next week is um, uh, I, we're doing something around here yes, called what is this Kelly's about? Thanksgiving Secrets Reveal. <laughs> what is this all about? <laughs> Yeah, you know, like he had no control yeah. over his own ass. He's, I'm the Ripper. Was, was that, <laughs> I, I ripped one, Ripper. <laughs> was that piped in? <laughs> yeah. His <laughs> face looked like, like Gleason when Mr. Marshall walked in and caught him in his desk. Hamna, hamna, hamna. He just had a frozen smile on his face. What was he wearing, a mic on his tailbone? That was, that, that was crystal clear, man. That's that part really is, did come through. That's part is, what is this all about? He what is this all he's about? He's commenting about what, commenting about <laughs> what Kelly's saying. I'm 46, and I'll, I'll laugh till I'm 110. I don't care. Oh, he yeah. always said, uh, fart equals funny. Always. My God, Kelly. Especially coming out of a... 80-year-old guy. Yeah. It's like a sewage uh, treatment plant, it smells like, over here, Kelly. <laughs> he should have just turned away. Kelly, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> you can't blast out farts on a show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I got to hear funny. that again. I want to hear him All right. blast it out and then uh, comment. I thought it was going to be like a little... Bl that was like, it was like uh, something out of Animal House. Right? Yeah. <laughs> here it is. Saw me, I doubt it. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, next week is, um, uh, we're <laughs> That's right out of the bean scene in, uh, Blazing Saddles. <laughs> he might as well have just leaned to his left and lift, lifted yeah. his cheek. And, there you go, Rep, I take that one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See, he's got new suit pants on in the next scene. That's definitely a change of clothes required. You don't own real estate these days. You don't own a popcorn thought. Who wouldn't someone step on a duck? <laughs> Let's do it again. Uh, Galvin. Me, I doubt it. Anyway. Uh, next week is... Um, uh, I, we're doing something around here yes, called... What is this Kelly's all about? Kelly's Thanksgiving... Secret and by Day. this, I mean the spot in my shorts. <laughs> How about Kelly? She... she she, she actually, starts laughing. But she stayed pretty composed. I would have yeah. been dying. I would have been... <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with me? I ate a little, uh, where did I eat last night? I was, uh, dining, I had some sushi. I'm not used to eating that stuff. Gelman took me out, and now I'm all gassy. <laughs> Our next segment, uh, stick around as me. Tom Selleck <laughs> comes on the show. <laughs> you know, I was watching, uh, Notre Dame the other day. One of my favorite teams! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Who was that, a zipper on a down jacket? What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, yeah. That was just... We can only wish that a little nugget fell out and rolled across <laughs> the studio. Floor. Like that was pant leg. <laughs> oh, it, rolled, it stopped at the foot of some girl in the front row. <laughs> 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 a little milk dud. She kicks it back to him. Oh, a teeny oh. little Hershey egg. Oh, God. <laughs> 
How, about, yeah. how lovely. Let's go. Uh, no, it would look like it came out of some old town dog. Yeah. <laughs> probably white, like the one you see on the yeah. lawn after. <laughs> the lawn after it's been exposed to the sun for a month. You uh. see how you bright my day, fellas? I uh, was miserable when I came in. Let's do it uh, one more time. Oh. It's on me. I doubt it. Anyway, uh, next week is um, uh, I'm, we're doing something around here. Called, Why is that so funny? Thanksgiving's secret The best reveal. part is, what's that all about? What is this all about? It's not like a bubble in a fish tank. <laughs> what happened? God, um, he would have blamed her if he would have just improv and said, what the hell was that, Kelly? Yeah. yeah. Do you know the laugh that would have Oh, man. I think we're having one of those Chinese earthquakes. <laughs> What happened? I heard a dog. The foundation's coming apart. <laughs> oh, I got heartburn. I'm laughing so hard. Did you? Oh my. my goodness! What it was that? Did you uh, hear the Tim Russert fart from the other day? Jesus, no! Oh, listen. To Everyone's this. just blasted on the air. Listen to this. I can't believe it. My YouTube's down. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> For example, my program of Meet the Press. No one has appeared on that program from 1962 <laughs> to 1948. It's the longest span of anybody in American <laughs> politics. <laughs> if it's Sunday, <laughs> he's more a baritone. <laughs> <laughs> really? <It's, laughs> sounds like he was dotting the I in the Ohio State Marching Band. <laughs> For example. My program of Meet the Press, no one has appeared on that program from 1962 to 1948. Are you sure that's not a tuba? Anybody in American politics. It threw him off, too. He messed up everything after that. So. Yeah, Wait a minute. These mics are amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're picking up everything. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's just, uh, you know. God, is that funny. That that uh, The Regis thing will be up on onaradio.com. <laughs> Who was Tim Ross talking to when he did that? Hey, he was just bragging about how great he is. I don't know. Um, <laughs> now we got uh, news of the bizarre, we're calling it. As opposed to what? These guys farting on <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that isn't bizarre enough. Listen to this story. The website broke the news today. 29-year-old Aiken has gone from spam a lot. Knocking up 50 year old James Foster, his BFF, and record producer who's 21 years his senior. She's also the little sis of Grammy winning uber big time music poopa, David Foster. Whoa, what's yeah. that? For the record, Clay didn't actually sleep with her. It's more of a turkey baster thing. You're picking up like an idiot. Clay Aiken what? impregnated a woman that he's living with that's uh, 50 years old. Artificial insemination. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In vitro. Who's that awful announcer? I can't get by him. Wow. He was terrific. That's terrible. That's Unbelievable. That's, that's a guy the from delivery. the dating game. Mm. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. No, it's just, I'm like Regis. Uh, what just, was that all about? I was just making sure. <laughs> I didn't that. say that. Who said that? Blame what was that on, all about? Blaming it on Norton. <laughs> I didn't. But I didn't. <laughs> Uh, Don't a, you want to play, Mac? Uh, Mac, Mac? Are you going to say goodbye to me, Mac? Mac? Settle down, Charles. Do you want to play? <laughs> play, <laughs> Mac? Aren't you going to play? Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> Do me a favor, Chessie. Stay off my side. So, <laughs> <laughs> so she's 50 years old, this bro? 50. Oh, that'll be a pretty baby. And uh, and uh, he gave up uh, his some of his uh, seed, I guess, for her to... For what reason? Do we know why? Hmm. Uh, so, so that they could throw off, throw everyone off the the wow the track the uh, the trail or whatever the uh, I hope she has throw the scent off. Soon. Something tells me she could have just stood on the other side of a glory hole at a truck stop. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was a really, old clay. <laughs> it was a weird procedure. There was no turkey baster used. It was actually a butter knife to scrape the back of another gentleman. <laughs> oh, my <God>. <laughs> <Butter> <laughs> oh, oh my God! Somebody get me a roll aid. That was gross. <laughs> <laughs> Stomach is flipping on that one. The best part: another gentleman. <laughs> another gentleman. Hey, yeah, cleaned yeah. it up nicely. Yes. Yeah, I know. That's radio savvy right there. Yeah. <laughs> he's a, he's a true professional. All right, we're gonna take a break. We got hey, are those the shoes what? I got? I, I think those are the shoes I got Jill uh, on uh, Sunday. What are you talking about? There's you got her high tops, Converse. No, no, I, I she was wearing. Uh, I think she's wearing the shoes I bought her. Are they five eleven <laughs> shoes? No, they're not five eleven. Size sixteen they're, and a half. They're men's. coach. 
Uh, <laughs> Nick, be careful. Anthony is now dating. Uh, Which one? The They're one both on the smoking. Left. This one. Oh, you son of a! <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, just over here, kind of Anthony, uh, <laughs> drooling. Maybe we should have told you ahead of time. But Anthony is officially dating Jill oh, Nicolini was... from Channel Eleven. Oh, there's <laughs> the pic. My goodness. Yeah, there's the wow. picture. Wow. Uh, what do we got? So now we got another update on WB11. What is it? CW11. CW11? Smoking. In their there. blog section, smoking. it says Jill Nicolini. This was updated May 29th. Is that today? That was, uh, She's yesterday. Uh, it says headline, Jill Nicolini and Anthony Cumia officially smitten. Yeah. What? And then it's a whole story about how they met. I don't have to read this yeah. whole thing. What do you got, Don? We all know the story. No, we yeah. don't. I thought we did. What makes it official as opposed to unofficial? I think when you sit there and talk and kind of, you know, <laughs> it, it, it gets made official. Like you do, buy our clattering. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> clattering. I know what that means. <laughs> uh, here we go. On their second date, the couple dined out at F.H. Riley's in Huntington. Ooh, oh. they have great catfish. I don't know what that meant. Hey. <laughs> my, my bro's restaurant. Jimmy's already hinting. Jesus, I can't make fun of anybody. He's dating know, her. Yeah. No problem. You know the head chef? His restaurant. Jimmy's mother's uh, busboy. <laughs> for Christ's sake, can I have any fun around here? Uh, she's a bus person. Bus person. <laughs> uh, but here you go. The couple dined out at F.H. Riley's in Hunting Huntington, but didn't find much time for eating. You know mm. how it is in the beginning. You don't want to eat. Before or after the date. You're just so in awe and of looking and talking and talking and kissing. Says Jill in a particularly tender moment. <laughs> As she bit into her rack of baby back ribs <laughs> and then burped in his face and blew love at him. <laughs> and all the teeth, uh, all that meat in her teeth, like the shock from Jaws after <laughs> Big Quint. <laughs> the Quint. Hey, this is the interview. Jesus, look at her, oh, man. I, God. Think, I think this is the interview you did last night, Anthony, because it says the couple's relationship is still very much in its infancy. However, when asked about a photo taken at the barbecue where the couple's holding a small child, Jill takes control of the interview <laughs> and uses the opportunity to grill Anthony. Let's talk about babies. <laughs> the Anthony I heard on the air didn't like kids. He was scared of kids. How do you feel about kids, Anthony? Mm-hmm. I just love the little fellas. <laughs> All right. As, I, I may have exaggerated. As many look as, at Jimmy's disgusted as, look. As many as... I understand lying at that point. <laughs> Seriously. And then, and then you continue by saying, as many as I can have running around the, uh, my house, the better. Oh, thank you, Angelina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, one of every color. <laughs> All races are welcome in my home. In talking to them, the pair sounds like they've been together a long time. Anthony sums up their current state of newfound bliss. We're just laughing our asses off and having fun. Definitely thoroughly enjoying each other's company. Where'd you meet her? There you go. Uh, During the weather? What were we on? <laughs> were you on CW11? Was, How did it happen? I really I was stuck in traffic. And, uh, <laughs> she was she the a traffic good, girl? Gave me a good way out. Yeah, she's the traffic uh, girl. Uh, the traffic vixen. Yeah, they call her the traffic vixen. And, traffic maven. And she does a little entertainment like she's doing today. Yeah, for she's doing wow. ent entertainment today. Yeah. Why don't we do an Anthony update? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Nick DiPaolo in studio, killing for us today. He's going to be at Caroline's one night only tonight, 212-757-4100. Oh, More oh. news coming from the Anthelini camp, and this time it's juicy. Anthony made the announcement this morning. He and Jill are officially dating. Uh, we officially call it dating? What are we calling this? Oh, yeah. Seeing each other? Whoa, he just said, yeah, dating. This is no casual fling, as not only are they dating, but the couple have their own official song. And it's by Lone Star. Welcome back to this morning's edition of Norton and Friends. Hey! <laughs> We're having a good time today. We have, uh, of course, Nick DiPaolo in the studio. Hi, Jim. And uh, we have Terrell Owens coming in a little while. Yes. We're having a lot of laughs. Stuntykins is here. Stuntykins. You're still trying to make that stick, A huh? little stick. And uh, Colin was supposed to come in the other day when, uh, when Oak had the food poisoning. And for this Monday, he was promoting. I'm going to uh, plug this. Uh, this coming Monday, Stand Up for a Cure. It's a, it's, it's a lung cancer benefit he's doing with Seinfeld. It's at the Wamu Theater by a Madison Square Garden. Alec Baldwin hosts. Colin goes up. Seinfeld goes up. And the Baker Brothers are performing at the after party. Go to Ticketmaster for tickets for this coming Monday. The Bacon Brothers? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought still... he said the Baker Brothers. Oh, no, the Bacon Brothers. Fabulous. They're still trying to get that music thing going? Yeah, we saw they... the Bacon Brothers... 
How many oh, years ago? Oh, yeah. Eight up. years ago? They pop up from here to there. Wow. He's helping his brother out, man. Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> Let's be honest. Brother plays a Casio, and he's got a violin. All, all I want to do is meet him and do JFK lines. You're a handsome man, Mr. Garrison. I'd be like, all right, I know. That was 15 years ago. He was great, Matt, though. Oh, he was fantastic. I fully understand helping your brother out, but this is a, <laughs> a little, little much. a little much at this point. It's like I'm Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Come on. I gotta I go back. To stand up here with a guitar. Uh, look, I did what I could. I gotta go back to making movies. Good luck to you. You gotta like just <laughs> cut them loose. Cause Aunt and I saw him eight easily eight years ago at some dumb corporate radio thing. You can just see the phone call. Hi, Kevin. Yeah, um, I wrote another song. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. You need to come by so we can you know work it out musically and and everything like that. I think this time we got a hit on our hands. Yeah. Um. Can you just look on IMDb and look up my name and see what I do for a living? <laughs> I make a lot of movies. <laughs> and you don't. You couldn't even get to me in Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. I'm your brother. <laughs> there you go. That's how you stump those uh, dopes. All right. <laughs> Kevin Bacon's brother. Uh, watch. Someone will have it. Uh, Nick Apollo in studio. Were parties? Oh, six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Oh, I could play it all night. Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Good Dave, you. just wasn't feeling it. <laughs> Nick Dip, Nick Dip dot com for comedy dates, but uh, the headline today: one night only. Caroline's here in New York City for Nick DePaulo. Hey, uh, we could go uh, a, a bunch of different ways here. We got a kid fighting with his mom on Doctor Phil. All the important uh, topics being discussed on our show. You got a middle school teacher in trouble for uh, descriptive sex ed. Did you see the two black chicks going at it? The teacher and the student in Georgia? What is that one about? Uh, I don't know. Just a fist fight between the two. Nice. Oh, it was beautiful. They showed it on the news today. I was laughing. <laughs> just laughing. Two, two chicks that weigh about 260. One of them was a teacher. One was a student. <laughs> Throwing roundhouse rice. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> it was... Uh, it almost looks staged a little bit. People start to do this crap to get on YouTube. Sure. Man. Oh, I, I, I fully uh, agree with that. But see, the problem is we don't get to watch the news anymore because Anthony insists that we all watch CW Jill 11? do traffic. What? It's on. We, look, see, Fox 5 is right next to it. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to be distracted. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, <laughs> is that Terrell in the catch? Oh, Jesus. Whoa! Terrell Owens will be on the show in a mere few minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Nick, for that. Uh, also, a woman uh, booted for Mariners game over same-sex kissing. Uh, where you want to go? What? You got three no. choices. Booted over what? what? For kissing a another woman. Booted out of what? Out of the Mariners game. Seattle's so liberal, I'm surprised. Out of a Mariners mm. game. All right. In the kingdom. Let's try this. Let's By the way, if we're going to talk baseball, the, we got Randy Johnson tying Clemens for uh, second place on the all-time strikeout list. That finally happened. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Two of Jimmy's favorite people. I don't mind Clemens, but Randy yeah. Johnson is such a douche. But see, you loved yeah. Randy Johnson until he denied no, the photograph. Oh, no, I didn't. I hated him and wanted a photo with him despite hating That's him. That's true. I've Just always because... hated that lanky zilch. It, it's, yeah. it's, it's one of my favorite uh, Jimmy stories. It really is. We're at the Brooklyn Diner after yeah. one of our radio shows. Or you and Tyson I like it Walker, already. Were we on the air was... again? Home of the $30 yes. hot dog. We this 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 giraffe walks past the window like you know, you know how tall you have to be. You could just see his belt buckle when he went off. Yeah. yeah, it was like a Toys R Us ad. You don't you don't see anyone's head if you're sitting in those booths unless you're looking up and over. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This this monster walks by the window. Jimmy goes, "Holy ass, that's Randy Johnson." No, you recognize him. You're like, "That's Randy Johnson." Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, really? So I'm like, come with me. Let's take a picture. And Opus is such a trooper. He came out with me, and we follow this. And I'm this camera guy. Gargantuan nothing down the street. <laughs> and everyone recognizes him because he's 6'11". Yeah. So I walk up to him on the corner. I go, hey, man, I'm a fan. Can I get a picture? And he goes, oh, no, thank you. And he crosses the street. <laughs> no, thank said, you. No, thank you. Gave, yeah. Gave Jimmy a no, thank you. And, and you can see Jimmy just going, but, but. But as and Randy's just moving across the intersection at that point. I hate his guts. <laughs> so I took a picture of Randy's back as Jimmy's going, but, but. <laughs> oh. That's why I don't go up to famous people ever. Just for yeah. that reason, right there. I don't want. And if it's somebody I like, I don't want to hate him the rest of my life. I you know? hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I hope he steps into a manhole and like the one leg stays outside and the other leg goes in and just rips his groin up to his nose. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> He's done nothing but kill the Yankees when he played for Seattle and Arizona. I never wanted him and his bad back.
Sandy Duncan snubbed me when I was in fifth grade. Oh, I've really? never liked her work since. I walked up to the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I hear a voice. That's right. <laughs> Somebody offering me a wheat thin? That's, that's right. Oh, glass eyed fool. <laughs> Pop that thing out. <laughs> oh, here's the picture. Put the picture up on O80radio.com. There's Randy Johnson. This is Jim Norton's celebrity picture with Randy Johnson. This is the best I can do. That's Randy Johnson all the way across the street. And Jimmy is somewhere over here. Oh, uh, did I get his back, too? Hold yeah. on. Yeah. I was he's, in the red, find... he's in the white shirt with the red top. Bang, yeah, no, I know Banging that. his head on the traffic lights. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put this picture up on onaradio.com again. Uh, yeah. the, it was a uh, ah. big monster. It was a monster movie called Clover Douche. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah. Get it? Get it? All right. So you want to do the Mariners game? This poor woman getting kicked out of a game for kissing another woman? Yeah. Here we go. Some chant, some scream, but one couple Ugh. learned the hard way... Don't kiss. He goes, well, the, there's a lady that said that her son saw you guys making out, and I've seen it too, and it needs to stop. I was like, well, we weren't making out, but we were kissing, and I'm not going to stop. Like, Sabrina Guerrero mm -hmm. says she only gave her date a peck on the lips, but a mother sitting with her son complained to security, uh, and they were told what to lips? stop or leave. Please. Sabrina says the only reason why she got called out was because her date was a girl. Because her date was ugly. You can only hope that the, the young son she brought to that game turns out to be just a flaming flaming homosexual just to just to annoy mom yep. brings over his huge black boyfriend <laughs> and, and he shows them how they get together like the black boyfriend will sit in the easy chair right and the son like will oh, run over jump up in the air and land accurately <laughs> yeah legs, legs straight out hi dad i'm home <laughs> dad <laughs> <laughs> daddy <laughs> with a machine gun. <laughs> I just find it refreshing that somebody had the balls to tell, too. I don't even know if the girls are gay, just to cut the crap. Knock it How off. about that? I like it. It's now brand new pictures of you and Jill. Where, where, where did are those these come pictures from? pictures taken? Would you go to a studio and have portraits done already? <laughs> portraits. What? Now there's new pictures that none of us have seen before. Oh, I think that's at Mom and Sal's. No, that, but uh, go backwards. Backwards. Who's following This you? one, where she's wearing, like, one of those... Dresses you would wear to do the uh, the cha cha dance. Oh, that's at the um, christening. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever the uh, you know the uh... <laughs> that was at the christening. Oh, okay. Oh, what a ghoul. That looks you. It, it look. It looks like every time a woman turns up missing, that's the photo they show of her and the boyfriend. <laughs> his ghoulish face with the mustache, staring like exactly. the top of his eyes. I'm not. It's always ghoulish. a lot of focus. So I a lot of focus. I'm we can read Anthony's mind. It's like, holy ass, I just want to keep this together. Be cool. Be cool. <laughs> what christening? Who was being christened? Um, her uh, goddaughter. Godson. And how long have you known this young lady? Uh, about, about a week. week. Holy Jesus. Yeah. Already had a christening? <laughs> no, Ouch. kidding. They've had sleepovers. They've missed work. They've done religious functions. The parents have met. Yeah. In a week, huh? In a yeah. week. Enjoy with Sex in the City coming up next <laughs> Sunday night. In a week, she's missed two days of work and has missed one so far. We're all keeping track. And they mm -hmm. and they were, it was questionable if uh, they were going to make it to work today. Just saying. That's she was doing entertainment today, so uh, she was got in late. She all right, back to in late. Oh, I'm looking at this new photo, him with his arm around her shoulder. He looks like Doug Hennings. <laughs> Hey, watch me make my finger disappear. <laughs> yes. He made his T cells disappear. <laughs> oh, he certainly did. Look at it. He's holding on for dear life. Yeah, like, that's, that's not how you hold a woman. Hold what? It looks like You're he's trying to dislodge a piece of steak <laughs> from her throat. <laughs> right, look at this. It's like the Heimlich. <laughs> Where were you? Out back? She got a <laughs> shell steak, piece of fat caught in her larynx. Oh, Come on, cough it up, honey. I can, I can read your mind in this picture. You'll never leave me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. If there's a thought bubble. <laughs> right. I'd rather see you dead than with another person. That's right. If I can't have you, nobody will. <laughs> it's a bit hack, but can we do a little caption contest with a couple of these pictures? Oh, on, great. On onaradio.com. In it's a bit hack, but let's do it. Uh, somehow figure out how Look, to get see, their captions a, in. in every that looks like you're at TGI Fridays with the red, yeah. white stripes behind you. You have, two tr you have two arms on her in every photo. Yeah. In every picture, 
You really are. Well, look at that one. She's got two arms can't on really me. Really blame him. I got to be honest. Yeah, yeah we're <laughs> smoking hot. Yeah, we're not blaming him whatsoever. Oh, look, she's on TV. Look, he's uh, he's trying to get both hands around that goodness. She looks so good in those And what's pictures. this picture with Keith the cop mm. in the background? I don't know. He was there. Mm-hmm. With that Keith awful shirt, he's, dr- he's dressed like like Who Dolph is? Sweet in the Wanderers. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's the guy in the background? Dolph Sweet, <laughs> um, stupid ass Keith. <laughs> well, that's Keith who kind of lives with Anthony. <laughs> no, a, Keith doesn't live there. That's a story for another. D- oh, now he doesn't live there anymore. No, get out. <laughs> Keith kind of had his own room in Anthony's house. He used to clean his guns. Oh, what? Uh, what happened? There she is. What, what what happened? She's talking she, about Anthony uh, right she's now. Singing a country song, and the uh, anchor goes, "Oh, are you sending out a vibe?" She goes, "Oh, it's a special message." And he special? gets a look. What's a special message? Special, special message. <laughs> Is that like Venus Schnitzel? You're all tongue tied. A special message. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold up. <laughs> Seriously, no, we don't mean to. Now, exactly, what what audio are we gonna pull? <laughs> Did, did Reagan from The Exorcist throw up on your shirt? It's the worst color I've ever seen for a shirt. That is Reagan. pea soup green. It's You're right. Terrible. That is a terrible oh, shirt. With Freddy Krueger stripes on it. Where it's do like you a- shop? In dumpsters like the day after Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> That's every gift that nobody wants. Looks like a test pattern at 2 in the morning on an 80-year-old TV set. <laughs> it's an awful lime green shirt with... With blue he's, stripes and a blue uh, collar. It's no, just terrible. No, it's sad. E-Rock tries to please us every day. So he's, he's a good he's, kid. He's, he's buying new shirts hoping that we would just leave him alone. And every shirt is, is worse than the one prior. It's, it's hard to find a polo shirt and a baby diarrhea yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's only, uh, there's only two made. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bill from Waterford uh, says, Iraq's shirt looks like the opening scene from The Outer Limits. <laughs> 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 we have taken control of your television set. I better start going through these movies. You guys are leaving me in the dust over here. That's right. Let's go back to the Mariners game. So you got the, the woman oh, kissing right. another woman. It was a girl. You know the mom doesn't want to explain to the kids like why two girls are kissing. And I was just saying, well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to stop. If you want to like, kick me out, you're going to have to. Yeah, and then see. he goes, well, I suggest that you should leave then. Well, I'm, I'm thinking they were deep kissing. I, I'm thinking yeah. it wasn't I a little I just tech. don't like their and, attitude. And were, they, if, were they scissoring? And even if they were scissoring, <laughs> they should be allowed to scissor all yeah. they want at a at a Mariners game. I hate game. the mom and her little <laughs> fruity son. Yeah. Well, considering the Mariners are 20 games under 500, you can't really blame these chicks. You know? What do they, they look ha- like? They, they should have hot lesbian night to get the, the fans in the seat. Get their things up. The rocks shirt uh, looks like Kurt Cobain's shirt from Smells Like Teen Spirit video. Wow. Right? Remember that? Yeah. After he was dead and bloated for a while. <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't think that's fair. Because no, it's not. Yeah, he can't defend himself. No. Because... He's not here to defend himself, Anthony. <laughs> You're really going over the line. It was bad. It's, it's fun, though. It's fun to make fun of someone that can't defend themselves. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. Speaking of Ted Kennedy. <laughs> oh. More on uh, the Mariners story. Apparently, if you go Safe sailing. Field <laughs> officials wouldn't talk about the incident, but sent us their code of conduct, which says Uh-oh. displays of affection are not appropriate in a public family setting. Sabrina and her friends don't buy it. Did your friends lash out inappropriately? <sighs> no. Were they being too sensitive? No. No. Not too sensitive about a situation like this. I mean, it could have been held, it could have been handled in a different way. They took pictures of other couples kissing who didn't get a warning, and those couples oh, were heterosexual. Uh. Were you guys being inappropriate? No. Were you carrying on? No, not and at was all. Was it more than a kiss? Nope. We were eating garlic fries. The last thing we want to do is like make out with each other. And so, like, honestly, that's eating what it is. a trout dog. <laughs> <laughs> do they make trout dogs? You gotta side with the girls on this. They're just kissing. Of course. Like, of course. They get tossed out of the ball game. They serve beer. Guys are punching each other in the face. <laughs> well, yeah, but <laughs> what is fine? I don't know. Those two <laughs> chicks want to peck each other. Hello. Come like, here. Grab me by the mullet. All right, you grab me by the I'm mullet. I'm just sick of hearing about. <laughs> I'm just sick of the whining of gays and minorities, and, you know, I'm just sick of it. Mm. Well, just, Take it outside. What if you got a kid there? They what were I, outside. There's no roof. <laughs> 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 what if you got your five-year-old son there or your ten-year-old son? So tell him, man up, watch this, kid. doesn't get any better than this. You're going to see this eventually. Might as well see it today. They should have yeah. pelted him with hot dogs. Maybe they would have got the message. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Goodness gracious. Yeah. Yeah, Susan Waldman was at uh, the game. Of all the dramatic things I've ever seen. And how's he doing? <laughs> Two lesbos going at it down the third base line. Yeah. Look at them Goodness running away from foul balls. <laughs> right. Roger is staring at George's box. <laughs> Of all the dramatic things I've ever seen, you should see what's going on in the Yankee dugout. <laughs> They're watching the Lesbo action as it unfolds. There was nothing going on in the Yankee No, dugout. I love that clip. <laughs> to this day, I just love that clip. Just <laughs> Look what's up. going on in the Yankee dugout. Nothing. Bedlam. Yeah, Cano's taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Do you have what was going on in the Yankee dugout? Uh, but yeah, that's the longer oh, clip. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, you got then she that. describes what's going on in the Yankee dugout, and guess what? It's not much most, was going on. It's nothing. It's the most uneventful <laughs> description ever. One guy was smiling because he knew, <laughs> and the other guy was sitting. <laughs> <laughs> the best is Roger uh, with his monotone delivery. Uh -huh. uh, I'll uh, be seeing you all real soon. Uh, good, <laughs> good to be back. I'll be seeing you all again real soon. Real soon. Uh, uh, I'm going to come back and be 8 and 11. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he was. I'm going to try to find date Leanne Rhymes when she first started. <laughs> Creep. Thank you all. Oh, here it is. Well, they came and got me out of Texas. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I can tell you, it's a privilege to be back. I'll be talking to y'all soon. Well, yeah, what are you going to do, call my house? <laughs> talking to you, every pick one of them. Clemens. Pick another needle on you. George's box, <laughs> and Roger Clemens is coming back. Oh. Yeah, with a blow to the ERA. Goodness gracious. Of all the dramatic things... <laughs> Listen to this idiot. <laughs> of all the dramatic things I've ever seen, Roger Clemens standing it, right in George Steinberg... Is not in the top 50. He is back. <laughs> It's a New York Yankee, and there we go, John. You don't have to worry about who's going to take that spot in the rotation. Spot. You should see what's going on in the Yankee. What, so, Susan? Big grin on Jorge <laughs> Posada's face. Andy Pettit knew. Big signs. Roger Clemens is now a Yankee. Attention fans. Listen he is here, her. and now we don't have to discuss who takes that a place. A guy rotation. was grinning. A guy was I, grinning, and another guy knew. No, I got a. That's what was, you should see. She goes. You should see what's going on in the Yankee dugout. I got a new favorite part in, in that clip. By what the way. is it? She starts her moment, and it, it sounds like in the background someone is like interrupting her once in, and she's like, "Ah, this, hey, this is my moment." Here's my yeah. moment can you play in the history. Beginning again? <laughs> here's my moment you in history. You gotta listen really closely, but you can tell she's like waving someone off, like, "Hey, don't wreck my moment." That voice. Listen, listen. No. Yeah, correct. He had to test her. <laughs> Roger Clemens <laughs> is in George's box, and Roger Clemens is coming back. Oh my goodness. Gracious! Of all the dramatic things, she's, oh, yeah. she's basically saying like, "Don't yeah. do it! Don't yeah. do it!" No, no, no! I got it. I'm, I'm on this. <laughs> she, got her, she got her hand over John Sterling's mouth. <laughs> right. so don't butcher this. <laughs> I got it. I got this. this. Is my moment in I got history. This. I got Look what's this. going on in the dugout. Like Tori was doing cartwheels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there was nothing going Giambi on. Giambi was doing front handsprings down One, the first baseline. The fun guy was grinning. <laughs> I know. Tori is holding his ass. And Frank Torrey is clutching his heart. <laughs> there was nothing going on. Pettit's smiling because he's got gas like a 10-month-old ten baby. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Oh, my God. <laughs> At least Colonia's got a lollipop and a grammar school. <laughs> Let's go to Dennis in Connecticut. Joe Peppertone oh, is sniffing on. sugar. <laughs> there was nothing happening. Uh, Billy Martin's risen from the dead. <laughs> Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig! Lou Gehrig is standing! <laughs> Thurman Munson is coming in for a landing! <laughs> oh, God. There was nothing happening. Nothing. Was Good morning awful. to Boston today. They're enjoying this one. The uh, Bambino is coughing up his larynx. <laughs> of all the dramatic things, Marilyn smiling. Well, she's not now. Joe just knocked out two of her teeth. <laughs> And Corey Lytle is running through the dugout on fire. Oh. <laughs> He's got jet fuel in his hair. Cano's trying to put him out with a wet towel. Of all oh, the my dramatic goodness. things. Of all the dramatic things I've ever seen. Now that would be dramatic. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, oh. That was a damn good one. <laughs> You've got to go to Dennis in Connecticut. Dennis. Oh, God. Hey, good morning, guys. Oh, Jimmy, you're killing. 
Um, <laughs> if you listen closely, after she says of all the dramatic things, you can hear her off mic going, focus, focus, and then she comes back to the mic and keeps talking. It's hysterical. Listen yeah, we just, she's talking to herself? Uh, yeah, no. she must hear <laughs> probably talking to the cameraman. Yeah, yeah Dennis is uh, well, listening a little bit on delay because yeah, that there's something going on where she like covers her mic and says something like "focus" or "no, no, not now." You got that part queued up? Trying to get herself under control. She all right, let me uh, let's no. listen, listen real closely. Thanks a lot. Of all the dramatic things, focus, focus. of all the dramatic don't things do it I've ever don't. seen, I hear "focus." I focus. heard "focus" too. Probably yeah. talking mm. to the cameraman. Yeah. About shooting in the dugout. Oh, okay. Yeah. That the All people that sitting there doing nothing. No, it was hocus pocus. She went <laughs> hocus pocus. She was going to try to make something interesting appear in the dugout, and she failed miserably. <laughs> Watch me pull a rosin bag out of my hat. <laughs> yes. Uh, All the dramatic Gina is getting a new cap. <laughs> <laughs> what a voice. Oh, she's t she's a Muppet face. She's t she looks like her mouth is always wet. <laughs> oh, doesn't she always look like she has saliva mouth? <laughs> We've been playing that clip for close to a year now. Can't get enough of it. Been that. that long? Wow. I think so. Nick DiPaolo at Caroline's uh, one night only tonight. Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. Another crane collapse here. In Jesus, what are the Manhattan. odds of getting hit by a crane? Like even money now? Wow. Manhattan? Even money. We're crying yeah. out loud. Huge crane go. collapse. Upper East Side here in New York, York City. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, a lot of boys down there uh, taking yeah. care of Whoa. the situation. Wow! Ninety wow. wow. first, first Street it took down. I like, lived on Ninety First. Where is that? Is that that's not? It took down. Look at all those uh, apartments on the side there. That it, yeah. it just took the balconies down off of all of them. Well, look, it's like my suggested years ago. Everything in Manhattan build only ranch apartments. <laughs> Ranches. That's right. You want ranches? That's right. That's right. Spread out. One level. Yeah. Go horizontal, not vertical. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Lovely. A nice ranch house. Ranch. <laughs> uh, All right. We got to take a break. Uh, let's see what's going on on the Sorrell FU line. And, yeah, nice. T.O. is up next. Welcome back to the Opie and Anthony program. I'm Anthony. That's Opie uh, across from me with a mouthful of I have no clue. Water and egg whites. Egg whites. I don't know where Kenny goes with these egg whites. Mm -hmm. It could feed a family of ten. Oh, it's a like massive that. helping of egg whites. It's ridiculous how many I, I, eggs they get. I said I'm leaving a fertility clinic a few minutes. Ago. It looks like the type of thing the firemen put down to get you to jump off a high building. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I want to deliver every joke. Just like that. Just slow and like an old lady who's not funny. Uh, Ross Bennett beat you to the punch. Uh, Terrell Owens uh, showed up. At the wrong place, so he's going to be here any second. Yeah, he's a, he's a half a block away. Is he yeah. the spokesman for Alzheimer's? Yeah, that's okay. what he's going to talk about today. He showed up the wrong address. <laughs> <laughs> that's a damn good point. <laughs> Come on. That was funny. That is brilliant, Nick. <laughs> Please uh, don't. I'm not. That's just brilliant. That was a beauty. Nick DiPaolo at Caroline's tonight with. Yeah, if you want to hear more all the time. Two sure. two seven five seven forty one hundred. That's a forty one with two goose eggs after it. Mm -hmm. So uh <laughs> I think we covered most of the stuff. We got a six point two magnitude earthquake hit in uh Iceland. And it didn't do as much damage as that crane on ninety first. No Street. kidding. Look at that. Took Look. out about a hundred balconies. There's like twelve chicks of bikinis under that crane right now. <laughs> 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 a couple of flower plants. It's, what? It just kind of scraped down the side of this building, destroying apartment after apartment oh after my apartment. God. I mean, how many floors? 15, 20? Yeah. What are they using for straps for these cranes, you know? I don't know. It's Yarn? A, this, <laughs> is a, this is a big one, man. Big. Uh, good luck getting home today, Anthony. Why? Well, it's 91st Street. That's 91st. That's, yeah, uh, but if, oh, it takes one car to break down in Manhattan, and everyone's screwed for whatever reason. I don't, I don't yeah, get that's, that. That's a little further uptown. Uh, I hope I don't have to worry about that. We did the Clay Aiken story, uh, impregnating a 50-year-old woman. <laughs> Not the uh, conventional way, by the way, with the turkey baster. Not at all. What did he do, throw it at her? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> he flicked like it. Like a girl. A little flick. <laughs> and then you got uh, Bill Murray's wife filing for divorce, accuses him of drug abuse, beating her, and leaving her kids or their kids, yeah. and going overseas to look uh, for some action. Then you got Steven Tyler in rehab to recover from foot surgery. What? What did, what did he do? Take painkillers, you mean? That, well, he's, they're saying, yeah, substance abuse. And he's saying, no, I had a foot thing, and I got the foot thing taken care of, and now I need a re some rehab now for that. Now I need 30 oh. days in a detox? Yeah. 
Is it that kind of rehab or like? That's how he's spinning it because he's he's supposed to be clean. And wow. What? That's oh my another angle God! On it. There's a hole in that building. It ruined the rain's going to go right in the house. Yeah, yeah that could ruin a carpet. Ninety first and First uh, Avenue here in New York City. Huge. Luckily, crane collapse. huge. That has just got to be the worst thing, being the crane operator. Yes. And just going yes. like something doesn't feel right. Oh, she's a tipping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I you mean, know? there's no getting out of that. And one. You're just riding it down. I'm sure because in your head you're probably thinking, maybe I'll make it through this. Oh, that's got yeah, cause yeah. Maybe I'll make it through. A little wedge somewhere. Yeah, and they'll come get me. We'll laugh about <laughs> it later. Come get me. <laughs> Too many cranes uh, collapsing. There's something going on. Yeah, they yeah. got a lot of building has been going on. Do you have you seen this many cranes in Manhattan no, ever? It's in your life. When you used to come into New York City as a kid, you never saw uh, this many cranes. We're heading toward a recession, but not here in Manhattan. They continue to build, 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 oh my build. God, that's uh, why you should always leave the house with a hat. Right. You just don't know. Maybe the brim could save you. Absolutely. A, at least a visor. <laughs> big One of those big foam ones you get the yeah. baseball game. A 10-foot oh hat. Yeah. That's the solution for crane collapses. Yeah. I'd like to purchase a 10-foot hat, please. <laughs> Let's go to... Uh, Made out of lead. Fill it with cotton balls. <laughs> Let's go to Steve in Pittsburgh. Steve. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, I noticed uh, yesterday when you guys were ragging to Anthony about him and Jill. Yeah. He defends himself and, like, his voice gets high like he's gay. What Anthony does when he's when he's in love, Anthony talks like this. When he when he what? likes something, Jimmy does it perfect. Because Anthony, when he's talking to Jill or somebody, like Anthony gets shy, and you can't see him because he's just kind of sitting here. But he takes his little forearms and he rests them gently on his knees, and he'll go, um, and he squeezes at the elbows inwards. So yeah. I um yeah. okay hi hi. What the I hell feel, are you painting me as? You do. You get very sweet and genteel. I, I don't think I do. You do. Say, you say genteel? I don't um, think I do. <laughs> no, I have to go see my mommy. And it gets very, very sweet. That's Anthony. He's not gay. He's being sweet. Anthony, when he gets tender, he, he kind of... He's a sweet boy. He becomes almost a young boy. Yes. When have you seen me tender, Jimmy? Many times. Many times. Yeah, you just don't want to admit it to people. Me and you, you in the mean, bathroom when we're sharing. Uh, at a gun <laughs> show. A stall at a gun show, perhaps. <laughs> Tender moment with yeah. a nice gun. Yeah, after you buy the nice gun, you've been yeah. looking at it for a month. Aww. Anthony protects his emotions, but yes, he is he a sweet boy. He is a sweet boy. And he does have a heart under all that Kevlar that he likes to wear every day <laughs> now. This right. 511 gear with hidden pockets for weapons all over the place. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Good observation. Very good. Yes. yes. Anthony's right. like a cuddly psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Uh, <yeah. laughs> Uh, we did Eddie Murphy making Beverly Hills Cop 4. That's got to be oh, a happy, huh, Nick? Wait. Yeah, that's a good, good move. Harvey that's Corman funny. dying at 81. I think we did uh, just about everything here. This was supposed to be our T.O. segment. Uh, Sidney Pollack we lost, too, huh? Yep, 73 yeah. years young, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's dying this week. They said it comes in threes. No. Yeah. I had nothing to follow that up with. Me either. I... That's Is right. Fred McMurray still alive? Uh, no effing no, he, way could he still be alive. Are you no, kidding me? No, he was 68 when I was four, so. Yeah, he really is old. Well, no, but Uncle the... Charlie is still alive, oddly enough. <laughs> is he? Yeah, he turned 131 on <laughs> last, last Wednesday. And they, show, they showed him at a water park in New Jersey. An adult T.O.'s here? Uncle Coming upstairs? Does he have to go through security, or is he here? Bring him in. Bring He's him his in own Roland. security. What are you, Roland, we're what running out of show. Of course bring him no, in. Sit him in the office for 20 minutes. We'll talk to him on the way. Should out. I move a man away? Or no, 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 no. All right. Should I bring him in? Should I bring him? What do you mm. think? No. This guy's a mountain. We're going to fax some questions. I guess Roland was listening to the radio and, and thinking, wow, they're really... This is radio gold. I don't know if I should interrupt. Of course bring him in. We're, we're that stalling That doesn't look like here. him. No. Kenny's about the same. Mm. Same height? Yeah. Kenny, where's Terrell Owens? Coming from the green room. Okay. Oh, yeah. The green room's now on the other side of the building. It's because, awful. Because this, uh, this dumb station, CBS, is taking up our green room spot. Why don't they put CBS Are down they the really? wall? Why don't they yeah. put them out in the alley? Exactly. I put them on one of those balconies. A crane just crashed into <laughs> I, I can't wait to start getting those creeps on our show. They are creepy. Mr. G was here yesterday. Mr. G was here yesterday. Was he? He's was, was he, he looking? Oh. Is that the weatherman? What do you want? Yeah. Some more bragging? Yep. Oh, he sure, certainly likes to brag. <laughs> He's quite the braggart. Yeah, he is. Mr. G. We did that day. About what? 
Oh, you, Jim, you He's would love him. Quite Lo the love braggers. pressure systems? No. Well. Does he bang a lot of chicks? Uh, oh, all right. I don't know what Mr. G wants uh, to admit at this point in time, but. Uh, You'd be surprised. That satellite map. I, I got the impression that he doesn't really give a crap about doing the letter. <laughs> 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 he wants to talk about everything but. Can I see a picture? His fine of weather uh, reporting. Oh, Mr. G. And he bragged he was 62 years young or something like that. Well, Terrell Owens. This T.O. <laughs> you know, look at just saunters in all smooth. Hello I, there, I, sir. We need to walk around like that. How are you, Damn. Terrell? Terrell. What? Terrell. Terrell. I told him that, see? Yeah, all right. Of course. Well, so, so, uh, they sent you to the wrong address? Uh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Some organization we got here. That's all right. What is it you're most sick of talking about? Because I know you probably get a lot of the interview questions. So we won't. What are, what are you most sick of the dumb reporters asking you about? Uh, right, right now. Yeah, just in general, like what you've been <laughs> dealing with for the last. Yeah, since you've been doing this promotion. Hmm. Not much. Everything's been pretty cool so far. You know, I think uh, the most thing that uh, the best thing that I've been talking about this morning is really the Alzheimer's uh, Association uh, champion thing that I've that I'm I'm part of this year. What made you get involved with it? Is is it just something you wanted to do because you wanted to do a charity, or is somebody like close to you affected with it, or what made you uh, get involved? My grandmother, with it? my okay. my grandmother. Uh, I was raised by her, and uh, you know she's been very dear and uh, you know to my heart. And so uh, you know once she got diagnosed with the disease. Um, it was it was pretty much a no brainer, you know, for me to kind of get involved with the Alzheimer's Association, and I I got involved when I was in San Francisco and uh, basically everywhere that I've been. So are people surprised to kind of see this side of you? Because let, let me let's be honest, on, on on the field, you're not. What are you guys doing? Getting the mic closer. Yeah, right. hear him. Okay, <laughs> well you can signal. You guys can't see, but. Carol is talking, and, and we got Stunt Brain is kneeling and pushing the thing in, and Steve's got his big greasy hands in the poor man's face. Greasy. I know, Just I making sure people hear him. That's all. It's like yeah. the pesky yeah. crow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but instead of just saying move your mic in, they're like, "Oh, we'll do it." Yeah. Uh, so, like you know, on the field, obviously, you, you're not the same guy that you are. Well, I mean, for me, it's really it's not a big deal about you know me trying to. Um, you know, make people see who I am on the inside. Um, only I know who I am, um, you know, as a person um, versus uh, the portrayal of me. Uh, obviously, when I'm on the football field, that's my job. That's what I do. I bring the passion to the game. And, um, you know, that, that that's what allows me to, to be able to uh, produce and, and, and do the things that I do on the football field. Um, aside from that, you know, my personality, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty laid back. And, you know, I am a, a caring, I'm a, I am a genuine person, you know, despite, you know, what people hear about me. Do you plan on doing, because some of the things you do are really funny. I mean, uh, like, you know, like mocking the uh, Patriots, holding up the football as a, as, a, as a camera. I mean, there's some great stuff you've done just to really irritate the other team. <laughs> well, you know, I just try to be creative, man, uh, just to have fun uh, with the game of football. I think uh, a lot of guys and a lot of fans out there, you know, they, they, they enjoy and they like what I do. And um, it's not offensive you know, by any means. And, you know, I just, just try, to, try to go out there and just have fun and entertain the fans at the same time. How much have you paid in fines over the years? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I haven't really. Are you uh, afraid to add it up? Like you're like, let them deal with it? No. no, no. <laughs> I don't want to know. You know, it is what it is. I think uh, even though, uh, you know, we get fined, I think uh, they use the money, that, you know, to, to go to, you know, different and various, various charities, you know, um, that they, you know, put it towards. But they should allow all that stuff yeah. to happen. I, I love, uh, you know, seeing you guys get creative out there. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I think, you know, not not only just myself, uh, you know, Chad Johnson, a good friend of mine, and, you know, he brings another element and, uh, uh, you know, to the excitement of the game. And so, uh, you know, I think, you know, long as it's, uh, long as it's not offensive, you know, um, you know, towards anybody or um, you, you, they should just let us go out there and have fun. But, I mean, I think uh, they're, they're trying to, you know, take away from the fun of the game a little bit. But. Uh, other than that, you you try to st still try to find creative ways to to do it. Do you have animosity towards like the Philly fans? Because I mean, there was all this weird stuff that went on in Philadelphia, and obviously the the, the Diamond uh, McNabb comments. And I mean, do you, do you really resent Philly, or do you have nice memories of it? Or 
No, no, no. I, I have no uh, no ill feelings towards Philly fans at all. I just think uh, they were misled, you know, uh, with a lot of leaks and sources as far as uh, really what happened um, during that situation and, and my transition from, you know, from Philly to, to leading to me to where I am now with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, so, you know, you know, with that being said, you know, I, I really – uh, I'm very comfortable with where I am. I'm very ca- comfortable in, in how things panned out. Um, obviously, would I have liked to, to have stayed there? Sure. But um, under uh, you know some circumstances, it, it didn't allow that. Terrell, did did uh, the Cowboys and Jerry Jones, did he, when you first got there, did he say, look, you're not going to pull any of that crap that you did in Philly? No. Uh, he didn't give you like a lecture and say you got to change your behavior or no, not at nothing all. It, like that. It, it, it was nothing, it, anything like that. We not, we haven't even had a conversation uh, hmm. like that. And I think um, you know Jerry did did his homework as far as you know who I am as a person through through people that he knows that that knows me and even uh, some college. I mean, some college guys, coaches, and even some uh, you know NFL coaches that that know me on a personal level. So I mean, he did his homework as far as. Um, you know, background check and all that stuff, um, regardless of what was said and, you know, who was saying it. Um, other than that, like I said, I know who I am and I know what happened, you know, <laughs> with the things that happened in Philly. And I think uh, some of the fans really, you know, they just got misled with some of the information. So you and does Don Mc, uh, you and McNabb have any kind of relationship or not at all? No, man, we're we're friends, and you know, um, you know, I've moved on, and I'm sure he has, and you know, I have a job, you know, with the Dallas Cowboys, just like he has a job to uh, to do uh, with the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, it was a situation that uh, you know, a bad situation that um, that happened, and you know, probably you know, honestly, if if there were some things that I probably could have done differently, then yeah. But you know, at this point, it is what it is. It's you know, it's, it's in the back of my mind now. Who would you say? I know there was one time you. I think you were celebrating when you were with San Francisco. You were out in midfield in Dallas, and I think it was a George Teague came and gave you kind of a, a shot just for. Uh, I think that's what it was. Who, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who gave you? Would you say in your career the <laughs> hardest shot you've taken? Hmm. Um. Hmm. I've taken a lot of a lot of <laughs> shots, and uh, I mean. Watching from the from the sidelines or watching on TV, you know they're 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 brutal shots. But you know I've kept myself in in great shape. I've always kind of just bounced back and bounced up, you know, from 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 the hard hits. But I, I, I right now I just can't I can't think of a you know one one hard shot. Maybe it's because of the hard hits. <laughs> I can't that's remember, the ones you forget real you quick. Just, you're yeah. like, wow, who's that guy getting killed? Oh, that's me. <laughs> I've been working out and. Um, <laughs> I can tell. I, I appreciate that. I mean, <laughs> I mean he, not, he, he means that. Yeah. Uh, my abs, though. What should I do for my abs? Because I'm really having a problem. Um, Stop gotta, eating cake. Yeah, that's that's one thing. <laughs> a lot of people don't know. You should try this guy's uh, this uh, his breakfast right here. He has a bowl of uh, cantaloupes. Uh, that's it. You know? That's all I yeah. eat. If you saw what he drank, it's like a bowl of cantaloupe and then vodka until tomorrow morning. <laughs> that'll, that'll keep you ripped. Yeah, I, uh, I mean it's all about those ab muscles in shape as you're puking the alcohol That's out right. every morning. You know, it's, 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 it's all about dieting, and um, I learned a lot. You know, since uh, my my fourth year in the league, you know, that's when I obtained my my, my trainer who's in Atlanta. So, uh, you know, I've, I've maintained. Uh, uh, a good lifestyle, and obviously I, I've kept myself in great shape over the years, and and obviously uh, a, a big key element is just the, just the way I train. And um, you know, last year I launched uh, my own little workout uh, gym, and uh, you can find out a lot of information about it on uh, tobands.com. And uh, I use a lot of resistant bands, you know, now uh, for the last year and a half, as well as a lot of you know dumbbells and, and free weights. But uh, this year, you know, I've, I feel like I'm really like in the best shape of my life you know and it's uh due to you know you know the different things that i do as far as uh my my workout regimen you like being with dallas would you say more than san francisco i mean that's kind of an awkward question because you're playing for them now but as an organization i mean uh uh how do they compare to san francisco and philadelphia well i think uh my my first year uh with the san francisco uh 49 i think everyone knows that the the tradition there uh that eddie de and 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 that camp uh, provided um but I, I really never really got a chance to really you know benefit from it you know because i was there that one year and then there were some things that kind of happened with that situation so uh with the playboy yeah. interview no i don't know anything about that <laughs> but uh it was sort of like a changing changing of the guard so uh um 
you know, everything kind of just changed and it, it wasn't the same. And um, now um, I'm with the Dallas Cowboys. And obviously, you know, tradition has, you know, you don't have to really have to say and speak hmm. too much about the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, we're we're America's team, uh, the probably like the most uh, watched team um, across the country. So um, just being with Jerry Jones and, 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 and it, it's phenomenal. Um, you know, I just 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 knowing the tradition and the history there. You know, you got Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, um, you oh. know, and a number of other guys. Um, just to be part of that is something special. How do you feel about uh, Pac-Man maybe being a new to- teammate? Well, I mean, we're just uh, waiting right now for reinstatement, and uh, he's going to be a, a great addition to our defensive backfield. And obviously, with his return skills, uh, definitely going to help us. Uh, um, you know, with our special teams play, so uh, we're we're just looking for and forward to him uh, being on the field and making plays, and and for all that to happen, you know, we're we're waiting for the reinstatement. How how about off the field, his antics? Do they bother you at all? His past behavior? Well, I think uh, with the year off that he's had, you know, I think that really has put a lot of things in perspective. Uh, mm. You know, as far as his life and his career, so I'm pretty sure, you know, uh, he's gonna probably curb a lot of things that he's uh um, that he's done and, and will do in the future is there anybody that jerry jones won't sign uh, <laughs> <laughs> probably not you know, uh, you know uh, that's jerry, an honest but, answer at least yeah <laughs> you know what you know jerry's uh, uh he's a guy that you know uh, he he's just talking to him personally he's going through some hardships and he told he has really just sat down and talked to me about how he got to be where he is and it, it wasn't an easy road and it was all about you know somebody giving him a chance and so i think uh you know with his life experiences he's he's more apt to give somebody a chance that yeah. nobody else would yeah. and that and you know that's 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 all about about life and what you've learned about life they hated him in dallas too when he first came because he gave landry the boot yeah i think there was yeah. like one year left on his can- contract right. like just take your hat and hit the brick <laughs> stupid scram and uh yeah. i i, I kind of I felt Jimmy Johnson should have stayed longer. I wish he had kind of, uh, I mean, after they won two back-to-back Super Bowls and then Johnson kind of left to go, you know, play with the, the awful Dolphins. I mean, I think he just wanted to get away from Jerry Jones. But, uh, all right, whatever. But I like that he brought Barry Switzer in, too, who I always like from anybody Oklahoma. Who brings a, anybody who brings a pistol to the airport, you have to that's, be happy that's with that's that. That's what I'm saying. He was, a, you know, kind of a tough guy. <laughs> you went When you were with Philadelphia, I mean, there's got to be a thing with you in Philly because you wore an Irvin jersey. He put on a Michael Irvin jersey and went out in public. I mean, that's got to be like, you couldn't have made Philadelphia people matter if you just put two big middle fingers on a hat and walked to Veterans Stadium. I mean, they really gave you a lot of crap for that. Well, it was really just me just showing support. And I've always, uh, you know, since I've been in San Francisco, you know, I watched Michael from afar and, you know, across the sidelines. So, uh, you know, for me, you know, it, it was no big deal. You know, it it doesn't matter. You know what I what I wear. I mean, I could have worn a dress. You know, <laughs> I mean, it would have been something said about that. And uh, the thing that really matters is, is what I do on the football field. Well, they in Philadelphia. Let's be honest. We're syndicated. We love Philadelphia, but, but but they're the worst people alive. I mean, we have to admit that. I mean, they're our fans. They are the worst people alive. <laughs> Or, you know, and they know they are. They're terrible people. Or the thing is, I mean, they 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 love you, and they they love you, and they hate you at the same time. Yeah. And when I was there, you know, um, there was a lot of love. And then when I left, I know there was a lot of hate. And when I came back to the stadium, there was a lot of lo- a lot of booze. Uh, and I explained to a lot of people. I mean, you know, they asked me, did, did it bother me? I'm like, no, not really, because I think they really, some people really got what what happened and what went on. And, you know, and I tell people there was a lot of love in those booze that I received. Hmm. Veteran Stadium has a jail in it. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, like, it's like playing football in southern Iraq. Why would anybody want to be involved with Veteran Stadium? You're probably very happy to be away from Philadelphia. And, again, we love people from Philadelphia. But well, you know just what? just awful. You know, I, I, I enjoyed it. Enjoyed, Are you getting the message? <laughs> I enjoyed feeling when I was there. And, and and I honestly, I have, you know, nothing bad to say about, you know, the the city of uh, of Philadelphia. Um, it was just a, a situation with management where, you know, we didn't see eye to eye. And, um, you know, they stood their ground. I stood my ground. And so uh, it, was, it was a situation where I, I don't think we could have could have coexisted you know i felt like i put my career on the line and um you know once uh there was there were talks and leaks of, of me trying to demand a, a new contract that was totally untrue um and that's what i think kind of got uh probably the city you know on the bad side and so uh, you know like i said i i kind of i knew what was going on and you know when they released those uh those comments and, and those speculations it was just just totally untrue 
Do you think that they just wanted you? Uh, they just wanted you to leave. I mean, was this like this is after the McNabb thing when they kind of it was four? Were they suspended you for four games? And what did they just they just sat you for the rest? of No, the season? I think it was just they just wanted to put me in a bad position in, in the public eye, you know, and uh, and 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 they accomplished that that goal, and you know, and I just and I found myself really trying to uh, really defend myself in a lot of ways, and and so uh, once you know. You know, they they got misinformed about what was going on. Then it was just kind of just I was fighting an uphill battle. Um, but other than that, you know, they they tried to find um, they tried to compound a lot of things and they tried to find everything and, and bring up everything to try to you know make me look bad in a sense. And uh, you know, obviously, you know, in my contract, you know, they if it, there were certain things that I did or whatnot, if if I was suspended for like one or more games, then you know I had to you know give back my signing bonus. And initially, I was only suspended, you know, I wasn't even really suspended, you know, I was just kind of, it wasn't a suspension, it was just me sitting out a game. That's not, that, that's not considered a suspension. And so, uh, they, they put their two heads together and they tried to figure out some things, uh, to try to make that thing happen. And so, uh, it, it happened. And, Did they know, get the signing bonus back? Well, yeah, I think uh, oh. there was a situation where I have to, uh, you know, repay a portion of that back, and you know, I have no problem with that. You know, um, you know, like I said, I'm I'm in a better situation now. Um, I, I I I'm with the team, and um, I'm with a gracious owner who who really gave me my market value and and what I deserve, and that's all I ever wanted. Do you get a little emotional after last year's game? Right? I mean, it was was it the, the press the way they were treating this situation, or what was it that got to you at, at the end? Yeah, of the I think loss? so. It, it was more you know way they were trying to make a. Uh, more of a situation, more out of a situation than it, than it really needed to be, and you know, obviously, you know, Tony's personal life is his personal life, and if somebody gives, I'm pretty sure if if your boss gave you a break and told you to go do whatever, then I'm pretty sure you go to Tahiti or whatever or the Bahamas, you know, Brazil it, it, with yeah. Jessica. I'd go to Newark. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I mean. You know, he he did what he did in his off time, and I think uh, everybody made you know too much of that you know off time that he had, regardless of 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 what time it was during the, during the course of the season. It could have been in the, the beginning of the season or the middle of the season. I don't think uh, what he did with his girlfriend, as far as taking time off and relaxing, getting away from football, uh, had anything to do with the with the way we played. You know that day. So well, those sorry, Jim, no. those tear those tears you were crying were legitimate tears. I mean, I don't know what was fake about him. I mean, I didn't have any. I don't know. I know in the movies. I don't know. If, what they should, uh, you know, they put some things in your eyes and make you cry. But uh, you know, I think uh, you know that's just me uh, as a as a, as a person, um, really caring about my teammate. And you know, Tony and I we established a, a friendship. You know, before he even even had the starting job. So you know, I consider him a good friend, and and really, just, I mean, he's like a brother to me. Let me ask you because I've. I, I've uh, but I've been a Cowboy fan for many years. It was very difficult to root for the Giants this year uh, in the Super Bowl. But how nice was it to see the look on Brady's stupid face? Bite your tongue, you oh, son of a bitch. I forgot you're from Boston. But how nice was it just to see them going down the toilet without that <laughs> undefeated record? <laughs> Wasn't that, come on, that happened. Honestly, I, wonderful. Didn't, I didn't even watch the game. You didn't? You didn't watch no. the Super Bowl. I didn't even watch it. See that? I was on a date. I was watching. I went to the movies. And, uh, I, I saw the bucket list. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. He's on yeah. the He's on the Super Bowl. He's on. It's hilarious. Yeah. You probably had like 30 seats to yourself. I thought there was a lot of people on the bucket list. Yeah. Terrell, let me ask you a question. As far as Spygate goes, do you feel like you were gypped out of a Super Bowl ring? You know what? How do you feel about that? Possibly. Yeah. Um, you know, like they say, well, there's smoke, there's a fire. And, and so, uh, obviously, there was something, you know, there has been something to it. So, um, you know, you know, hmm. they say sometimes, you know, if you're not cheating, you're, you're not, not trying. trying. I want to go back to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Why wouldn't you watch the Super Bowl? That's really interesting. I don't know. It was the first one, probably that I that I haven't watched. I just I just didn't really have a desire to watch it, you know. And I think, uh, especially you know, just just the way our season in, uh, ended, you know, I just I just was I was kind of anti football for a minute. Hmm. You know, I probably just still just going through my little phase of really just trying to get over the loss. And right. So uh, you know, I just you know. More importantly, a, how how was the bucket list? I had a, <laughs> it was we didn't a, see it. It was, it, was, it, it was a good movie. Uh, <laughs> obviously, you got two two great actors in that: Morgan Freeman, Jack Nicholson, yeah. and uh, you know. And I had a uh, I had a pretty fine date. How'd too. the date work oh. out? 
Yeah. Better? It was good. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. Lots of popcorn. <laughs> we definitely got to get out of here. We're a little late. Oh, let me, can we give <laughs> we got to make sure we get uh, the info out for the charity there. Yeah, yeah Terrell Owens uh, promoting uh, the Alzheimer's uh, uh, Association organization campaign. Now, the website is uh, alz.org, alz.org, or uh, uh, terrellowens.com, T-E-R-R-E-L-L-O-W-E-N-S.com, and uh, you can get all the information there. But I mean, it's obviously a great cause, and you know, you know, most of us have yeah, somebody definitely. affected by it. Yep. I mean, this uh, it, it is a great cause, and I'm very honored to be on the Alzheimer's Association uh, 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 board this year, and I'm a spokesperson spokesperson for that. And uh, it's really just really to kind of educate people on the realities of Alzheimer's. And uh, um, like I said, me being involved is is because you know I've been affected, you know, by a family member. And my grandmother is uh, someone that's been very very dear to my heart. There you go. He said it all. Yep. Well, thanks for stopping by. We uh, we appreciate it. Absolutely. Not a problem. We also got to thank Nick DiPaolo for stopping by. Caroline tonight, one show only. Two one two. Two shows. Uh, th- well, uh, one night only. Yeah. I was going to say yes. Uh, Nick DiPaolo tonight at Caroline's. Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. We're off to XM and uh, have a good weekend. Later. Enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Here we are. XM Satellite Radio. It's 84 degrees in the studio and getting hotter oh, by the minute. Bunch of men. What happened? They, they gave us an excuse to leave early today. I want to thank oh, XM crazy. Satellite Radio. <laughs> the, uh, did, did, let, let me, let me oh, ask. it's 85.5 did, and going up. Did no one walk in here the entire day? Was there, was there one person oh, now you're that get walked Morris in now to you, the studio and, and might have said, wow, it's a little warm in there. Oh, no, you it's did like it. a fucking nursing home. No, <laughs> yeah, you did it. It really is. <laughs> Where's Foot Fist Way? Between that and the monkey shit in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> place is a palace. <laughs> it's 85.5. We got about 10 listeners, which is going to make it a lot warmer. Uh, I'm hoping for 90 before 10 o'clock. 90 <laughs> degrees. Oh, I thought you meant 90. listeners. <laughs> yeah, oh, 90 <laughs> listeners. That would be nice. <laughs> Fucking, uh... I'm sorry, Philly. You know I love you, of course. One of my favorite cities. But I just kept trying to get Terrell Owens to badmouth Philly. No, that wouldn't. was... Uh, I like that. And yeah, I think I Philly appreciates oh, the it. fact yeah, that we know they're awful. Mars, what's yeah. going on? Ant's Ant basically saying different. that you're not doing your no, job. No, no, I never uh, said that. Comment. No, no. Honestly, uh, no. Comment. I, <laughs> And AC's Mars knows down. I didn't say that. AC's down, and the company's supposed to come and fix it, and I did tell uh, <laughs> Steve. Uh, <laughs> Steve didn't uh, convey the message. I absolutely did. I walked in the room. You're so easy. What? what? Uh, <laughs> I know you did. Oh. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself. What's the problem? Thermostat? Oh. The blower God, unit? I think a compressor's Coil? out. Compressor? Compressor's out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I could take a look Monday. at it. I think I might be able to actually uh, get it going. I remember my 85. old tin knocking days. <laughs> How are you going to do that? We're up to college frequencies on the radio dial. No. <laughs> <laughs> Could you turn the heat off? My shirt is shrinking even more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we get... Fine. It's can not that the shirt is shrinking. Because Roland has some cool... Uh... Yeah, Roland, get over here. Look, yes. at the, look at the beads of sweat on his fucking oh, he's forehead. Fucking, hey, Jimmy, like I gotta, he's got jaundice. I got to start by saying... I was wrong to Roland. He gave me this movie uh, called Foot Fist Way. It's a movie that what Will Farrell uh, discovered? Uh, yeah, somebody slipped it to Will Farrell, and he watched it. Him and Adam McKay, and he bought the distribution. Jimmy was right. I will explain in a second. What the fuck was that? Jimmy that was, was right. Uh, Foot Fist Way. You gave it to me. I, I didn't really know what to make of the movie. I have honestly resisted watching it, but I I, I shouldn't. I'm annoyed at Will Ferrell because he didn't call him last time. That's kind of stupid. I mean, I admit yeah. that. But um, I don't know. The the main character in Foot Fist Way is terrific. He's like a Master Poe type character. Yeah. Is this who think, he, who think he's all that? So yeah. what, what is your synopsis of that yeah. film? What's uh, Foot Fist Way all about? It's like um. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is fucking Pillsbury Doughboy. This exactly. is all we're gonna do on XM today. Jimmy, it's like the Doughboy laughing. At the end of the uh, commercial. All right, what Roland Foot Fist Way? Um, he is the, like a, the master of the demo. Uh, he plays Fred Simmons. And, is that a real uh, guy or is that like a it's his character. character? Okay, it's his character and uh, like. <laughs> 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 he's he's simply adorable. Yeah. Foot Fist. All right, go ahead. And uh, it's just it's really funny though the, his, his sayings and what he does. What's he say? <laughs> <laughs> Like Truman Capote, giggling over the. <laughs>
Jesus Christ, it's, is that water yeah. coming right out of you? And the movie's <laughs> getting really good reviews, and yeah. I, like I said, I didn't know what to think of this fucking dance. head. <laughs> yeah, and it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the best one. Jesus. <laughs> is a very ticklish boy. <laughs> he certainly is. Jimmy goes to me, we got to get Roland in here because, and I don't know how you knew this, but you, you, you told me that when you tickle Roland, he makes silly noises. Sounds like a Girl Scout at a funny yeah. movie. I, actually, I discovered it accidentally. <laughs> What do you mean? Really? I missed and hit his taint. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just tickled him one time. It was a goof, because he's just, you know, Roland's just so lovable. He was just standing there. I just was just joking, and I tickled him to be stupid. He went, hee, hee, hee. <laughs> and I said, file that noise. <laughs> that has to happen again. Unbelievable. <laughs> By the way, since Roland sat down, we're up to 86.2 and rising fast here yeah. in... The XM Studios. He's rolling right now, his forehead. He looks like he's <laughs> testifying at a child pornography <laughs> trial. Look at his <laughs> Jesus You Christ. are sweating. I'm a wetback. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm a Mexican wetback. You're a wetback. I'm a wetback. But that was because of the swim over. <laughs> uh, the, the Rio Grande. It's like huh? somebody sprayed Pam on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> what are they, what cooking the up some eggs for everybody on your <laughs> forehead? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wow. That's so hot. So what, do we should, what should we do with Foot Fist Way? Now I'm thinking um, we got to support this guy in should, the movie. He should call in. He's a really funny dude. Will he come in or no? Um, he's filming in L.A. Okay. By the way, his wife in the movie, worst actress ever. It, uh, just a ever. friend. Ever. Just, just a, friend, a friend, obviously. She's never done acting before. The, it's so uh, not believable when she's on screen with the guy. The they, guy's hilarious, though, how he talks to his students and everything. Yeah, and his character is pretty funny because he does... Uh, <laughs> And bigger, uh, stronger, faster got uh, great reviews. 100% uh, positive yes. reviews on Rotten Tomatoes so far. The steroid oh, movie. Oh yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. see that. That one and we uh, interviewed the guy. He was uh, he was a lot of fun. That one and Fist Fist Way are the top two musty movies. Yeah. <laughs> This is our new bit. Oh, Fucking movie man. reviews with Laughing Rolling. Oh Write it God. down. We oh. start do this weekly now. It's It'd be funny if you did it while he's reviewing like Schindler's List. <laughs> exactly. Yes. And then he said they have little hands that can clean the munitions. <laughs> did you see Sex in the City, Roland? Uh, I did not. Why not? You see every movie that comes out. I'll, I'll see this week and but I want to see Foot This Way again. Yeah, well, okay. and we got to keep him in here because now the sweat is dripping into his eyes and it's, it's fucking. In his eyes. I've never seen anybody sweat like this. It looks like Moses Malone at the foul line, the <laughs> Boston Garden in 1986. <laughs> I'm with you, Nick. I'm with you. But the but the guy said he'll def he would call into the show. Get yeah, get you're right on mic there with your Can sweaty forehead. Get him a headband. Oh yeah, it's going into his eyes. Yeah. Holy oh, shit! Is it stingy? Yes. <laughs> Look, no one else is sweating. Is this a rope I mean, exercise here, for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Roland wears like fucking short sleeve shirts. It's literally thirty degrees out, and he's bumbling down the street. Yeah, or fucking yeah in the winter he'll shirt. wear that. Yeah, he'll wear that in the winter. He's never cold. No, but no, he gets he doesn't, hot. Own, he, do, he doesn't own a winter coat. I, did you I just don't. say that? I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, I'm no. staring at this fucking crane across the street, wondering when it's our turn. I know. What the fuck? We man? have one of these huge cranes literally it's right, right over across the street, right behind Anthony's head. Yeah. And if that thing fell like the one that just fell on the Upper East Side here in New York, we'd be fucked. It would fucking, the sound coming out of that thing would be like. <laughs> 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 oh, that's the crane operator. <laughs> you know, can we do like, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking like an all out. Can we put you on the floor with microphones and maybe allow the listeners that showed up today to, to, no. to tickle you for like 10 seconds? No. They're begging. No. Rolling. They're begging. No. They're very ticklish. Come on, we'll end the tickle bit with you just getting tickled by like 10 dudes. No. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> it is awkward. It is How awkward. How about just one dude? How about oh. Mr. Poe? Ew, no. Who do you want to tickle you? Yeah. No, How about no. Sam? Sam looks like he's a good tickler. Who would you like to tickle you? You, want Sam you, you don't have a choice. Um, Jimmy, I guess. Or? Okay. But Jimmy's been tickling right. you. Can he sit on your belly? Tickle <laughs> <laughs> you. I can see my reflection in his forehead right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it really is amazing. It's like a fucking mirror. Roland also turned me on to Surf Wise, which was amazing. Uh, the Heckler. What What was the best movie you've seen in the last uh, couple weeks? Uh, it's probably is the Foot Fist Way. Foot Fist Way. It sounds dirty. 
There hasn't been... I mean, there's been okay movies. Do we have a trailer for Foot Fist Way just to maybe give uh, people a little Sounds taste? Dirty. There's a Red Band trailer on YouTube. Yeah? All we have to do is click and go? Yes. All right, let's give it a shot. Foot Fist Way, the trailer. <laughs> your weight is disgusting to me. All right, hold on. Let's turn this off. Because right now, you're sucking. Last August, a film was slipped to Will Ferrell and Adam McKay. Do you think y'all can handle this? Taekwondo is a deadly serious killing system. Since then, they have watched it at least 20 times. It's the best of all martial arts. I hear jiu-jitsu is really good for balance. No, jiu-jitsu sucks. They quote it. You're just a man who is overweight and has breasts the size of a female. They obsess over it. You like to party? I'll give you a call. Mr. Simmons, I really need to go practice my phone. Wow. Do you just feel that? What? I mean, we totally just connected right there. And now they want to share it. I'm noticing that a lot of y'all are just throwing single kicks and punches. What you need to be doing is following those through with some combinations. Walk with the right, distracting back fist, and spin crescent kick. Got you, didn't you, Rick? No, I was just doing what you told me to do. I think Marge and I are no different, don't we, Marge? Yes, sir. You come with whatever you got. Full contact. I don't think you're going to like how this ends, Hot Shot. <laughs> we just knocked out the old lady. Oh, shit. Holy shit. He's still alive? Yeah. The trailer would have been more enjoyable, but they put that stupid movie music in there, like they That's, keep stopping the sound. Yeah, yeah but yeah. The, the Red Band trailer is better. Because it has cussing and everything in it. Oh, I don't oh, like cussing. cussing. It has cussing. It has cussing in it. They show more of it. Here's a question I would like to ask Roland. Yeah. Just look at the camera, too. What is your favorite curse? <laughs> Roll, what's that about? Come on. Oh, that it's, laugh. It is so ridiculous. People out there are going to think that you're putting it up. No, no, he's not. It's when I was a kid, my brother used to torture me just because I was so ticklish and just yeah. kill me to death. I stand in the same way. But you still have the laugh as in a belt that you had when you were six. <laughs> Where are you ticklish most? Yeah. I don't know. Just around. It's just I'm ticklish. Are your arms ticklish? <laughs> no. And your nipples? I, just my you stomach can... area is like ticklish. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's the oh my god. Oh my god. Poe gave Roland a good tickling. <laughs> it's the cutest sound ever. It really is. You want to just hold him and hold I know. Him. Then you realize he's a sweaty pederast. <laughs> <laughs> and then you prefer not to. <laughs> Look at him sweat. No, it's mm. awful. Well, It'd be funny if every time someone tickled him, he came. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he might be. <laughs> Uh, trailer sucks. Movie is awesome. Yeah. I don't really know what to think of Foot Fist Way. It might be like a Napoleon Dynamite. It gets better the more you watch it or something. It does. I saw it five times already. Five times? Five? Yeah. Jesus. All right. Well, Roland... Hey, that's uh, like what crazy people do. Uh, to a movie that many times. No. Th thanks for bringing... Uh, Joy to the show. Terrell. Terrell Owen. Uh, to welcome. the show. He's a monster. And I was telling Nick just before we started here at XM, I want to go back in time and beat the shit out of myself thinking that I, I actually had a shot at professional sports. Well, you did. Because you see a guy like this, like Jimmy said, he put his arm around his back just for the picture, and he was just an animal, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, we got the photo together. And, like, you know, I, you just touch a guy's waist or whatever, you get in a photo or, or like, his ribs, and he is... It's like a, he's like a rock. What if he giggled like him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be did, would have been odd acceptable. combination. Yeah, absolutely. But he he li really is. There is a certain thing like you're born with that to a certain degree too. Plus hours of work and juice. Yeah, you think so? <sighs> no, nah, not with him. He is fuck because he's not that big. Like he's big, but he's like no, he's an athletic. Yeah, he's he not looks that like big. His, his biceps were as big as my thighs. No, no, but I mean like he's not like freakishly like he has to be on roids. But he's yeah, a big no, dude. yeah, you're right. He understands what to eat. I, want I mean, he looks like he could be a track star. He's got that kind of yeah, long, lean muscle. kind of. Yeah, you know what I mean, I love when we ask these athletes like workout advice. We all know what we're supposed to do. Well, they just look at the dessert mushes. and and move around a little bit more than we we do. Yeah, stop putting cake in your mouth. But we all ask because we're hoping for that uh, that miracle. Like, oh, just the fuck. secret thing. Yeah, the secret thing. Actually, if you eat too much cake, it goes the other way, and you'll lose weight. <laughs> yeah, is that it? That's what we're all hoping for. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is why our show is 
very different than other shows. Mm -hmm. uh, Terrell said something, and none of us had the balls to touch it. None of us. And I, I got to acknowledge everybody that wrote on instant feedback. They they picked up on we it. We all did. I got emails from two two of my brothers. They picked up on it. What was that? Pal Talk picked up on it. Uh, well, listen, here it is. What made you get involved with it? Is is it just something you wanted to do because you wanted to do a charity, or is somebody like close to you affected with it, or what made uh, you get involved? My grandmother. With it? My okay. my grandmother. Uh, I was raised by her, and uh, you know she's been very dear and uh, you know to my heart. And so uh, you know once she got diagnosed with the disease, um, it was it was pretty much a no brainer. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Talking about Alzheimer's, right? Oh jeez! We all heard it. We all heard it. A no-brainer. And of course, of course, we were all good boys. Yeah, yeah. What were you gonna do? Yeah, but like, but like Jimmy said, you make a crack there, then he's gonna get up and walk the fuck out. But That's have, true. But we have in the past. Yeah, we have. But well, it was almost. I like wasn't when, there in the past. When, <laughs> <laughs> when a guy's talking about his his grandma, it's, it's hard that to like raise them. If yeah. it was just the subject itself. Yeah. Like if uh, you like, look, it's a very, uh, it's a scary thing. But when they asked me just to get involved with, that, if it was just like that, it would, it would have flown out. Yeah, yeah. It was a little too personal. Yeah, it's exactly. Like Grammy. Mm -hmm. Just get up and clock you in the face. No, I don't think so. he would. Please, I, for T.O. money, I'd take a shot. But now he would have just walked out. I would have, you know, whatever. I'm a pussy. I'm a cowboy fan. I didn't want Ter Terrell to be mad at me. Call him Terrell. Everyone no, else Terrell. does. I mean, that's not his name. What? He came in. He was not happy. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, he was furious at that. You're like, yeah, oh, he seemed really pissed. Nah, he's tired. Maybe he heard the crack I made. Uh, Jimmy turned him around. Maybe. Remember? Yeah, yeah, it was okay. Maybe he went to the wrong address, and I made the crack about all time. Maybe that he was heard really all time. funny though. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> See those diamond earrings he had on? Those things gotta be fucking five hundred dollars. Ah, they were fake. <laughs> Perhaps <laughs> more than that, Jim. <laughs> Saw them. <laughs> 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 Don't hurt him. Yeah, he's, he's away from the mic. No need to do it once he's away from the mic. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Debbie. Oh, that, that, that little laugh was fucking masquerading a killer inside. Oh, I know. No, Roland doesn't play. No. Roland you threw his he's... headphones at Poe. Your Roland... God made the crane fall on your head and kill all your oh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Let me tell you something about Roland. He looks like oh, he's sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh. oh, isn't that funny, Paul? <laughs> oh, what's this world coming to? Oh. You're going to take that shit from him? He Come just on. threw a water bottle right at, right at Master Poe's oh. head. Oh. Wait, listen. Wait, are you, gonna, you know, I, I XM HR? You're HR. That's what happened to me. <laughs> Good for you, Roland. Good for you, Roland. <laughs> Jeez, don't take I'm no shit off nobody. I'm Bruce and all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. See, this is the other side of Roland. He doesn't play. He looks like a softy, but this motherfucker. Good for you, Roland. Don't animal. take no He's... shit off nobody. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. You mad Your guy still hurt him. Okay. Hey, Paul, you going to take that from him? What the fuck? Roland, <laughs> Roland, you mad at Mr. Paul? This coming yes. to. <laughs> what happened? He's I'm fucking sorry. poking around inside my chest. This is why, Aww. by the way, it's a stunt that went too far, Jimmy. <laughs> Stupid. That's why. Oh, shit. <laughs> when I tickle Roland. Look at his eyes. They start spitting. Roland's Roland. relentless. He go fuck himself. Roland has, <laughs> Roland has two <laughs> emotions. Touch him the same way his brother dog is still, wow. is still dead. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best transformation I have ever seen. Oh my god. I should be in a movie. My condolences. Yeah? No. If I hurt you, I apologize. See, that's, Seriously. That's very well, nice. Well, he's doing this XM for his email so he can look good. No, no, I don't I don't care about that. I'm serious. Okay? Oh, okay. Oh, it's so bad. Holy shit. Is your dog still rolling? It's brutal. Holy shit. You know how much he loved that dog? I just want to bring everyone up to speed. I'm breaking your balls and you're better when you get your fucking fed. <laughs> He's just getting a little fucking mad. I'll go home and get your fucking shine box. <laughs> still one of the best heavies ever. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Billy Bats ruled. Oh, even in The Sopranos, man. Oh, yeah. I was watching the last season. I was crying. Yeah. How much he hated that fag video. Oh, God damn. The jokes and, he was making. And his wife goes to him. They're at breakfast. His wife goes, remember Vito accompanied his wife when they sang Silent Night, Holy Night last Christmas? <laughs> Phil looks at his wife and goes, I got to try to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> the most hateful look at it. I gotta try to take a shit. Holy shit, is he oh. great?
God damn. Roland should be starring in the Hulk Jake. movies. I love you. I love you, Johnny Cakes. Roland has two Johnny emotions. Johnny Cakes. Yeah, Roland fucking. has two emotions. Cherub <laughs> and fucking Throat Slasher. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why, by the way, what you guys can't see, when I tickle Roland... Yeah, because the tickling goes two ways. It's giggly and cute, and then rage. Yeah, yes. I, I don't like to be tickled. I can take it for a couple of seconds. Yeah, so I but, gently sweep roll inside, so that there's no he can just move. Exactly. No, he fucking that and you. One Paul of is stars. doing like mixed martial arts tickling. No, he was just like <laughs> grabbing like I'm like a fucking like uh, because he's behind the FH trial. He's grabbing a woman. That's what he's doing. <laughs> he was doing. Oh. That's, that's why I hear. I don't Holy know. shit. Well, we've heard rumors I'm just, about... I'm reading in the paper. Things. I don't know if it's true. We've heard uh, rumors about what... Wow. And they're con doing construction behind F.H. Riley, so uh, Master Poe must be really bummed out. Nowhere to go with his dates. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know where to take my dates, uh, gentlemen. Wow, Paul. Paul's getting slammed. By yeah. Paul doesn't play. No, he doesn't. All right. Yeah. And the temperature's up to 87 now because uh, you brought the heat, Roland. I know, just see. Release the inner beast. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's back to Cherub. And his eyes are now back focusing uh, on us. Yeah. They go to another place. They really do. All right. Uh, where's all our CDs? They haven't arrived yet. <laughs> yeah, where are the fucking cross dressers? <laughs> <laughs> I do letter jokes. You see, I don't... Yeah, I saw that. You're not mad at me for starting that, are you? No, yours is fine. You're just idiot over there. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't like Master Poe? No, I said I don't like him. I, I like him. It's just when someone like like fucking jabs their fingers down my chest, I like I don't like them at that moment. <laughs> Were you picked on as a boy? Yeah, you fought. Oh, though, yeah. well, before I never fought. Then I started fighting back. Yeah, he's yeah. He started yeah. kicking some ass. I had no idea, yeah. but that day with Eastside Dave, when it got really real. It, oh yeah! That oh just, my god! It reminded me what just happened there. Of you know, there's something about Mary when the retired every time he touched her behind his ear. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! Yeah. <laughs> Not that you're Not that you retire wrong. I didn't mean that. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but better, the reaction was like you know, giggling little funny guy. Do you motherfucker? Roland's yeah. deceptive. You look at Roland, you, you, but Roland's probably strong like a little bull. Like Roland's yep, yep. Of course. probably a powerful, a lot of fucking low center of gravity, squat little. Well, fucker. you can tell from his laugh. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, powerful guy. Has your uh, Blackberry shorted out from sweating on it? Almost. <laughs> I hope that thing's good to fifty fathoms. <laughs> We got two dead in the crane collapse. Hey, man, oh, it's up. Doorbell's ringing. What? What? Oh, no. Thank you, Puff Soda Kenny. What was? Oh. What happened? What happened? The doorbell was ringing. Master Poe has a doorbell, Kenny. Yeah. Oh, it's the the buzzer. Kenny loves Master Poe too. <laughs> How can't you? I think you sent them on a I wild. I pretend I have chase. business. All right, we're gonna take a quick break and regroup here. I Look at the smile on Kenny's face. I say we face. work right through the break. Really? Yeah, why not? <laughs> no. It's actually cooler in here now. Did the air... Or Are they warmer? figuring out the air? Because it went down a little bit. Yeah, you guys it's get down to 97. Look, right. Yeah, look at uh, Roland's head. It's not oh, yeah. a right now. That's There's the only anger. two puddles on his fucking... <laughs> can, we, can we tickle uh, Roland one more time? No. Old tsunami hey, scalp. <laughs> Anthony, uh, they say that the uh, the crane operator got killed. Oh, what a, what a surprise. Thanks for connecting the dots on that one. Yeah. I thought he might have scraped his elbow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they just yeah. took out the whole side of the building, this crane. That looks exactly like the crane across the street. It's the same, it exactly. it's the same company. It's the same fucking crane. We're fucked. <laughs> yep. These things are just coming down like crazy. The they, pro I know what the problem is. Uh, problem? Yes. It's the bottom, with the bottom, the, the, what they call the crane feet. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bottom, what keeps the crane anchored to the, the cement. Yeah. The straps. It's, it's called the crane feet. Crane feet. And they were made by a company overseas for mm -hmm. many years, and then to save money, uh -huh. they began to... Uh, uh, make, an, make them in Velcro. <laughs> no, they went with a cheaper company. Dink, oh, Dinky yes. Dow. Dinky Dow so, cranes. <laughs> and, and, and they make them out of what? Metal. Oh. But the company's a bit fly-by-night. Mm -hmm. It's Ted's quality oh, crane no. feet. But Ted's crane in, feet. Ted, Ted does a lot of stuff. Ted's yeah. many Ted. Ted's quality crane feet. The, feet the, emporium. The, the fucking tethers are made from cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> that is just. It's uh, like a girl's bra strap. What the fuck? <laughs> 
Boy, those things just rip through wow. buildings, too. Look at that. Somebody yeah. lost a nice microwave oven. Wow. That, look at that. Go to, uh, it's all over MSNBC right now. That'll smash you. What, what the are. fuck? Holy shit. Where are they going to sleep looks tonight? Looks like the Cloverfield monster got a hold of that building. <laughs> no kidding, man. Just scraped it right Imagine there. Imagine all your pictures knocked off the wall oh. the wall's gone. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking crane. You're trying to watch your goddamn soaps and there's a crane in the living room. I'm trying to watch my stories. <laughs> And a crane <laughs> fell through my ceiling. Uh, oh, thank you, Kenny. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Let's go to Brian in California. Brian Kenny just brought Nick eggs. I know. <laughs> look at how, look at I how love this show. It's the only time I eat healthy. <laughs> look at how many eggs he uh, got you. I know. I asked. It's a fucking egg like egg white omelet, but it looks like a little fetus. What did yeah. you get? Yeah, like an egg with tumors. Those fucking little potatoes. <laughs> Those are potatoes awful. are great. Looks uh, like Angelina Jolie's twat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Brian in California. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Brian. Why not, gentlemen? Hey, happy birthday, Jimmy. Thanks a lot. I, I feel like it's been overlooked. When? Today. Today. Uh, are you shitting me? Yeah. You want half yeah. my omelet? You are shitting. No. Uh, Brian. It's birthday every day. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I'll listen I to the to show. Your, uh, <laughs> what? I hate to rain on your parade, but the uh, Regis Fort video is uh, fake. How do you know it's fake? Because Gelman said so. Huh? <laughs> if you watch it enough times, watch when the whore Kelly uh, swivels her mug on the desk, and that's where the noise is coming from. What? Jesus Christ, what did you study, like the Saproda film? You <laughs> get a fucking life. Yeah. Exactly. That's wow. what I did like that. It's not fake. Here it is. To me, I doubt it. Anyway. Uh -huh. Uh, next week is. Um, I'm still laughing. Uh, we're doing something around here what called is, what is this Kelly's Thanksgiving <laughs> well, Secret Reveal. Too much broccoli. Yeah, why it's is she laughing? Sir? How do we know yeah. it's not Kelly shit in her pants? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Seriously, she's Whatever. a health nut. She probably had three shots of fucking wheatgrass. Oh, that's, that's right. Let's say hi to Dave in California. He knows why the cranes fall. Hey, gravy leg bitch. Dave? Yeah. Dave's calling from under a yeah. pile of rubble. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfuckers fall because they're crooked. <laughs> <laughs> What's the up? motherfucking crooked cranes be falling and knocking motherfuckers over. <laughs> John talking Jimmy. Yeah. I love John yeah, talking so Jimmy. If you, uh, if you look across the street, they mount the crane to the building every couple floors. Yeah. Right. With a little collar around the tower. Uh -huh. yeah. Also, what happens is they're going to put the, the top one on and they slip. And the collar slides down and hits the next one, and then hits the next one, hits the next one, and it knocks all the collars down to the ground, and the thing falls over. That's right. That's why it tethers. We only tether them with string at the very top. <laughs> <laughs> one little piece of string tethering. <laughs> Got some hungover construction worker, and he, and he uh, sneezes and drops the top collar. Yeah. All right, Dave. Thanks right. for the insight. Thanks, Dave. All Thanks right. a lot. Jesus fucking Christ. That's right. Take oh, your collar story and go fuck your mother. <laughs> Ant's looking out I'm the window. Kidding, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he's kidding. You're he's looking out the window. Are we uh, in good shape with that crane over there? No, we're fucking doomed. Yeah, I, that thing is definitely... Uh, I hope it we fucking We stare at that falls. thing every day when we walk over every here. Every ding-dong day. You know what? Uh, I, I, how come I remember all these cranes being put in the middle of the new buildings? Remember they used to build it around the crane? Mm -hmm. And then they'd have to you know, take it apart and, and ship the easier. crane out. Now... All the cranes are on the outside of the you building. You drive the crane up, yeah. you go boop, fucking ten minutes later, you got instant bada crane. Bing, bada boop. It's uh, the new technology. Yeah. I don't like this new technology. They're, they're fucking falling over every two seconds. I know. Well, bad news, five that people dead. Good news, they were Dominican. <laughs> oh, <geez>. oh. <laughs> Fucking joke. I just picked right. that. Okay, fucking uh, Italian. <laughs> right. Funny now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Pick your fucking ethnicity that doesn't offend you, you <laughs> cocksucker. NickDip.com. Okay, Nick. Let's take a break. They're landing on five acetums, but they all had hats on. They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, the, got a nice reaction when I, I, I pulled uh, decoupage from behind the couch to show the fine listeners oh, today. Oh, oh decoupage. decoupage. There was a lot of oohs and ahs when we... We uh, brought oh, decoupage out today. He's I not wonder. feeling good enough to do the show today because he's got a big, huge hole in his head. Yeah, decoupage We're, is under the weather. But there you go. You can look at decoupage out there as well. All yeah, right, he's Roland. a new friend of the show. Thanks, Roland. The laughing bit's going to be a huge hit, I'm telling you. <clears throat> we'll I'm afraid to tickle Roland. Roland as we tickle him. That's the best. All right? I want Roland. Roland sent me a mean email last night. Oh. He did. I, I thought that was going to be uh, what did it say? a situation. I, I, I actually didn't read it. What did it say? I got it. Can I see it? Wait, I might have deleted it. 
What is it? He gave you the business, Jimmy. Why? Well, I didn't see it. Because Jimmy doesn't want to, like, a acknowledge anything that Will Farrell. No, touches. no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I just, because Will, I like Will. I mean, it's like because he didn't call in last time, like, even, like, when, when, when you guys were supporting the movie and doing an event for the film and didn't even give a quick call in. It's the, uh -huh. the, the movie company folded the week. Totally. Okay. Semi pro, you mean? Mm hmm. Well, so, New Line Cinema folded that week. New Line Cinema is no longer? No. Huh. Really? No. What is? It was New Line from, Cinema? So basically, for when uh, Semi Pro came out, yeah. they were doing all this promotion. Then the next day, after we got under 3,000, two days later, we get Will Ferrell. But the next day, the company f went under. So it went from 400 employees down to. What was the nasty email? Let's hear it. I haven't read it. I normally read Roland's emails, but I just didn't. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. Here is the email to Jimmy. As I said, the film Studio Folded in capital letters. His whole press schedule was a mess. <laughs> Shit got lost, and unfortunately, we were part of that lost file. When a studio from 400 employees goes to two to three employees, things get lost. It's not us doing favor for this. It's a good film, period. I'm sorry you have issues, but sometimes you have to... Bypass that. Will is calling in or stopping by for Step Brothers. LOL. That was the email to Jimmy. Eh, it's not bad. Oh, fuck <laughs> yourself. <laughs> it's not bad. I always yeah. put LOL after I write an angry email. Yeah. LOL. Your, your mother's dirty box. LOL. <laughs> or, or rolling all over. I'm a little hurt. Yeah, yeah. I'd be. Yeah. That was nasty. Wow, that was a nasty email. You're lucky he doesn't tickle you right now. I mean, I, I fight for guests. Yeah. Roland has just had it with everybody, right, Roland? No. I'm a good ally. No. Can we tickle you one more time before yes, you break? Can tickle me. Oh. Can we get like a. How many guys? We need three guys tickling you at the same time for the big out. No. It's the big out before break, Roland. No, my size is sore from Poe. Oh. It cost me. Hey, why did he poke you so hard? He's just like jabbed you. Like, like you, I don't know. You, you, but the good news, your fucking head dried up nicely. <laughs> yeah, it really did. You handled it well, though. How's your dog? Is it still dead? <laughs> good. My condolences. <laughs> that <laughs> was a fucking beauty. For a good tickle. Oh, that was a zinger. If you only knew <laughs> how much he cared about that dog. Well, that's why it was a good one. Just to show how brilliant that line is by Roland. All right, we Roland got a water bottle in his head. Yeah, we needed the big tickle. <laughs> Jimmy? No, I'm hurt. I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys going to make up? I'm not mad at all. I'm hurt. Why are you hurt? Snap at me. Very hurt. Are you going to cry? I was injured. Are you going to cry? I don't know. Poe tickled me. Yes. And my head was bashed apart. <laughs> Why do people snap at me? My shoes Rolling. fell off. I think you got to apologize to Jimmy. I can't see, God damn it! Are you feeling a lot of pressure, Roland? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not mad. <laughs> I love a good impression. Uh, <laughs> Roland, what? Can I apologize to Jimmy? Look at me. Sorry, Jimmy, for snapping. I was in a different frame of mind at that time. Jesus yeah. Christ! This is like the fucking Oprah show. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, you know, we can play the Oprah audio today after the break. People's real feelings come out when they're snapping. At you. Yeah. So you don't really like Jimmy is what it no, I love comes Jimmy. down to? No, I love Jimmy. There was much love in that email, Roland, I gotta say. None. It was disgusting. Jimmy, you're a psycho. Delicious. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Nick is going to town on that omelet. Nice. All right, why don't we take a break? Like, Roland, thanks. I, I think, think we should. should. But we needed the big tickle out. Why don't we tickle him tomorrow? Can we let the... I want his friends let, tickle him. I don't want to bother Let's Let Stalker Patty at least tickle you. All right. She could use her oh, fucking... Patty's she could use her here. fucking slee stack feet. Patty, here comes Stalker Patty. Hey, Patty, could you shuffle in on those fucking things you call feet? <laughs> Very funny. It's a Holy sexy shit. outfit. It's like two skateboards. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Patty, I like the shorts. It's nice. That's right. You fucking dress like Sissy Hello. Spacek heading down to do laundry at the creek. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, Roland. <laughs> oh, God. I don't Where's know. your socks? Oh, even I can't make fun of her. Where's your socks? <laughs> Certainly not stuffed into your bra. No. <laughs> I'm not you. wearing one. I know. Oh. Are you not wearing one? No. Let me see your tits. <laughs> You've seen them before. But they're fucking nice. Just lift up your dumb Come shirt. Come on. I, Pat, you got great tits. Nick, this is for you. Fuck that, I'm eating. <laughs> Let yeah. me see your breasts. Please. I don't want to spit up this omelet. Patty, I, I helped give you your first orgasm. Oh. 
All right, well, you just Remember when I diddled your clip? You got, scr you got scrambled. Now look at fried. Not <laughs> 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 bad. Uh, Betty, what do you got over there? What do you got for me? <laughs> Can I lick your nipple? Got something I shot oh. over there nice. Yeah, Jimmy's back uh, being single, so could he lick your nipple? Oh. Kind of bang this broad, Henry. Yeah, fucking help me out of what? I do favors for you, right? Exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to, to bang the crypt keeper, Henry. Can you help me? <laughs> Move over to Jimmy. What? Alright. Alright, lift up your shirt. How about I won't lick him? I'll just touch it's him with my fingers. It's not yucky. It's, has anyone ever licked your nipple before? No, it's yucky. Somebody give me a napkin, quick. <laughs> if she, if, if you gotta lick her nipple, if you it's go to yucky. lick someone's nipple and they say yucky, <laughs> you gotta you're gonna nipple. have a fucking. Uh, <laughs> you, How about you lift it? I won't have an it. amber I'll alert it. out. I'll just touch you. it real quick. Come here. <laughs> Don't lick it, please. I ain't just gonna lick it. Get a hold of yourself. Why is it disgusting? <laughs> I'm looking at a fucking appendectomy. Yeah. Did she get fucking stabbed on the way over here? No, it's an appendix scar. That's Are why you sure? it's an appendectomy. I thought you lived up in Washington Heights. I've had that since I was eight. You should at least let yeah. guys yeah, have put an appendix in. You should at least let guys have sex with the scar. Oh, this mm. is be a good place to start. Pat, let's see the rack. You, yeah. were, you were never eight. All right, there's the yeah, rack. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to touch you, with my fingers. Just let him feel you up a little bit. Is this fucking legal? No. Yeah, of course yes, it is. This, this is like rape. Yeah. fucking end up on Judge Judy. Right, come on. Come on. I'm not going to hurt you. She, she likes Those are not that bad, really. They're nice. Can relax. Come here. Oh. <laughs> come here. They get oh. hard. Yeah, you like that. No, I'm embarrassed. Don't, don't be embarrassed. This is fine. unbelievable. Don't be embarrassed. Just oh. let him play. Oh. What are you feeling? I feel. I don't feel it. <laughs> oh, what yeah. are you thinking about while Jimmy does it? Camp. Cup or cunt? No. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, let me just lick your nipple real quick. Come on. Patty. It'll be fun. We'll laugh about it later. <laughs> yeah. It'll be it'll be a good laugh for everybody. But that's so bizarre. That's yeah. the beauty of it. Well, that's what we do. We're being silly geese. I know. I never heard of him. And they're weird. He's... Really weird. Oh, is he? All right, here comes. That's not that bad, Patty. I'll be honest with you. I didn't realize he was weird when he told his stories about jerking off with Voss with a chick in the middle. Yeah, yeah. No. And while he's smelling catch it and trying yeah. to vomit in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. 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 Present your nipple to Jimmy. Come on, I'll be. I'm not gonna what bite you. Just now, move your nipple into Jimmy. I did not Jimmy. bite my toast yet. Oh shit! I swear to fucking god. That's right, definitely go. a bite Patty, taken out of it. Close your eyes. Somebody I'm not gonna hurt you. Come here, factory. Come on, don't worry. I know, but I'm doing not. it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Patty. Pick your shirt up, mother. <laughs> mother, let him, so let him just no. suckle. Let him suckle a come little. No. Patty, just Patty. let him suckle. Come on, come here. Come on. Am I gonna he do He just wants to suckle. <laughs> do you want to continue having VIP treatment? Let Jimmy lick your nipple. Oh. Are we doing a radio? I didn't do it yet. Come here, come here. I'm going slow. Come on. Relax. She's making a yucky face. Yeah. Believe me, this hurts my soul. <laughs> That's so disgusting. Move your hand, move your hand. It's like every day they've been on. Why That's so disgusting. So dis move your, move hand. your hand, I'm not going to hurt you, Patty. Relax, God. relax, relax. Just relax. Relax. Come here. Patty. Patty, hold Why her. do you keep pushing away? No, hold away. her belt loop so she no, can't no, no, move no. away. She'll come, she'll come. <laughs> come here. Closer. You already did it. No, but I didn't do it no, right. I'm doing no, it slow. Come, come here. On. Let him like suckle on them. I'm not gonna hurt you. Which is like every day, like she hates it. Come on. Who's the who's the well built person out there? She fucking is not happy with this. No, huh? <laughs> who's that lady? No, <laughs> no it's just <laughs> Miss. Who are you? Weird. Okay. Who is she? <laughs> who's the lady? <laughs> She's looking at me like she wants to fucking cut my balls off. Who is Steve, who is that? I'd be glad to hold him. Well, All right. I don't know. Steve's putting the... Who's that? He's doing the, the slit the throat kind of thing. Friend. Of yours? Oh, oh, all right. She's not a boss. No, no. Oh, okay. No. Fine. Yeah, oh. Give me tits. All right. <laughs> all right, Patty. I thought now... she like, worked for X7 and wanted to fucking kick me in the balls. Yeah, present the nipple to Jimmy. I've Let's been with worse. I've got to be honest. Use my stupid nipple. Move! I didn't mean that. Move your hand, Patty. You keep Jesus Christ. I you, just can't help it. It's a natural reaction. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> if you pull away one more time, I'm embarrassed. You ever see Cape Fear? That's how I show you. <laughs> Come Come it never happened before to me. Well, I've never actually actually done this with a fucking cadaver, so we're <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm kidding. Come here. Barely. Come here. 
Her, la- her last date was Michael talking to Michael Bodden. <laughs> <laughs> well, Patty and I have a weird history. Yeah. yeah. You don't say. No, but I was the first no. one to ever touch her breast. <laughs> yeah. I was the first one to ever touch her breast. Before her dad? Come on. No, she's Patty's been very, she's a virgin. She's a virgin. Yes, I am. Patty is not a virgin. Yes, 52 I am. Year old virgin. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, what about this? The fuck dangerous. are you waiting for? A crane to fall on your head? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to die of AIDS. Oh, or shut something. the fuck well, up. Well, don't fuck a Haitian with a knee on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's got to be a committed relationship. What are you going to do about well, the breast? What if I gave you something on your breast through the saliva? That doesn't. It doesn't of course happen. it can. That happened no, once. Yes, it did. A, that's how I lost my aunt. You better no. look it up, Patty. <laughs> better look it up. <laughs> it kind of felt good, though, right? She had nipple weird. AIDS. It felt weird. <laughs> I, just I don't a, know about good. I can't decide on that yet. But Daddy, what are you weird. waiting for? The sexy I'm waiting for a committed person. Oh. I don't want to be committed. Yeah. 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 committed. Yeah. Beat me up or do something bad to me. You know, I get scared. You want yeah. to beat you up? I do. Who's yeah. gonna beat you, you up? You know who Patty? Steve Freed is. You know, I don't want a guy that's gonna <laughs> control me or anything like that. I want to be somebody that like cares about me. You've been waiting Guys forever. Guys like that don't exist, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I know. Just put on the lube and get out there. Get yeah. in the. You're sitting on the bench your whole life. Let's right. go. I want to be with somebody that I can fall in love with. Ugh. What kind of guy really? do you think? Hey, Jesus. Have you, you, know, have you looked at a mirror like lately? Myself, quiet, you know. Somebody quiet? So you're looking for, okay, a retarded yeah, guy I'm with a no quiet dick. Person. <laughs> you're quiet? Yeah, I am. You want a shy guy? You have nice Not tits, shy, and they're going to you know, waste. But somebody mm. that I could click with, you know. I haven't met that person Sounds yet. Sounds like you want a remote. No. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't met them because if they're like you, you wouldn't meet them. Because you're not, you don't go out to meet people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pat, you so got to get out there. That man. perfect gotta, guy for I you. I thought about this. I don't drink, but I thought about visiting one of the bars in, you know, on the. You gonna Broadway, visit it? Like visit a bar. Or something Hello. Like Can we that? get your brochure before you go? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you want a drink? No, I'm to... just visiting. You know, a lot of you want to with that bar? fucking sound? Well, I don't know where to meet visiting. people. Really, uh, I can't yeah, go great to bar those in Inwood. clubs or anything yeah. because that you have to have a lot of money to get into those. So I'm very limited what? in what I can do. I hear a lot of excuses, Ben. You know. Right. Yeah. I think you should get out there. I'll give you 150 bucks tonight. You go to the shark bar, right? That's mm. a shark bar. Shark. 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 Where is that? It's on the uh, west side. It's popular with the brothers. Yeah. yeah. Brothers? Uh, yeah, black get yourself shark. some, you know. I don't know. Why not? Let Louisiana know. black snake. Yeah, why not? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cool. I want to go, there. go to a nice place like the Blue Fin or something like that. The Blue that. Fin? Yeah. What do you do, blow Jacques Cousteau? Come on, talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I want somebody that's... You know, I could talk to, like, about current events and Ugh. things going on. And, oh, really? Uh, who likes yeah. the bowl? Shut the fuck Mike you Wallace know, now. once in a blue, blue moon, I like to take a little trip down to Atlantic City and walk on the Atlantic. boardwalk. What's blue, blue, blue Atlantic moon, City. Like Atlantic. Every, maybe Atlantic. two months or so. All right. I want to go to Atlantic. Atlantic. What's blue, blue moon? Blue, blue moon means in once in a long time mm. or once in a neon. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. By the way, every walk with you is a boardwalk. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Anthony. No problem. Well, she likes to talk about current events. Uh, what's going on in the news? Maybe we can yeah. Yeah, introduce let's see, you to some... Let's see how this would go. Oh, no. What do you like about the current events? Let's talk to somebody with a crane on his neck. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, that's because they're too cheap to pay workers' union wages, and they what? hire, like, lower-paid people to uh, all operate union. them. They're not qualified. They're not all well. fucking union. They're all union. They're, all these no, guys are union. They're not getting crane no, operators not outside the Home Depot. Yeah. They're, they're getting me. scabs they're to fucking set up the cranes around cranes Manhattan. Right. right. Do you know what the know. money they get for operating a crane? Oh. I, I know a crane operator. They I'm sure that guy was well. like, well, at least I'm making a lot oh, of money know, as he was plummeting to his death. Uh, yeah, I make a nice dime. Them yeah. don't. Right, why? Kablamo. Right. Maybe because oh, they're not fuck. as qualified. Right. Or don't know what they're doing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see you have this conversation on a loud dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can dance and stuff like oh, that. Oh, of course you can. Fun, can. But, you know, yeah, so the guy's I just break out the coke and jealous of this going shit. to uh, take advantage of me or hurt me in any way. Thank you. I get scared to death. What's your so favorite really dance? <laughs> you ever do the Watusi in a shithead? <laughs> <laughs> no. Could you imagine the first fucking time she's laying there? 
and of course with a lot of KY, uh, that first <laughs> cock that just slides up inside her. Oh my god! I, I, you know what what would you do? Banging into would the you like all oh, AIDS? Like what are you that? fucking? What are you? What are you? Come on! AIDS what takes, are the odds? And AIDS takes about ten years. Yeah, you'll be dead by the time it no. kills you. Yeah. I want to live till I'm 103. Oh, really? 103. Why 103? I don't know. What's I don't the... want to die early. Yeah, no. 104 is what? I got... oh, you yeah. don't want to have eggs. That's it for the rest of your life. And too many very young people have it. They can never have a normal Yeah, but they're all like choreographers and shit. Yeah, you don't got to worry about that. Two words, Magic Johnson. Exactly. Look at him. He put on 80 pounds after he age. He <laughs> beat it. stopped him. Yeah, but I wouldn't go with him because I'd get Oh, you're black. a racist. Oh, you're a racist. You're a racist? No, no I'd get <laughs> magic HIV is... also. No. Oh, yes, it's you do. It, it, it went away. That's the why they call him Magic Pat. He's clean no. as a fucker. Yeah. Yeah. I'm you telling you. You're contagious for the rest of your life. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He's been fucking Isaiah Thomas for like two years. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're contagious for the rest of your Listen life, and you can her. give it to somebody else whether you're doing well or but, not. But they keep testing him, and it comes back negative. Yeah. I'm That's not making this shit up. It's impossible. It's there for life. Patty. It might be negative because he doesn't have a flare up at that moment. But flare up. Oh, flare up, flare up of the about AIDS. A fucking back injury. Yeah. yeah it's, a fucking yeah. cold sore. Patrick, they're not rich. No. It's just because hemorrhoids. <laughs> Rick he doesn't have a six pound water blister on the head of his dick. He's fine. <laughs> Yeah. I just hope to meet a very nice gentleman, somebody a little old-fashioned who will open the door old for me. Fashion. You're looking for a fucking yeah, Dave Thomas? Thomas. Tesla. You know? Open a door for you, like one of those basement ones when you watch the storm going. You know, someone that'll let me walk on the inside of the sidewalk, and he walks on the outside, you know. Is that how you're going to fuck a go? crossing guard? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. To hide the fucking the exposed wiring. <laughs> <laughs> oh Patty, where, you're where, so funny, Patty. Yeah, so, and you would have sex with a person like this? Uh, after a, after like a committed relationship, and that we were the only two it's, people together, and yeah. he wasn't going to go with right, right, right. All that yeah. I know you with fucking yeah. questionnaire. It's unbelievable. Right. But you All would that stuff yeah. is a guarantee. You'd lay Patty. there. I would prefer to also be married to him first, and then. Oh, now you're really fucking stressing. Wow. Yeah, you know, I'm, I don't. Yeah, know. there's I just plenty of fifty plus women out, a year old women out there just getting married. She just you do have, have you have your standards seem a little high. I mean, oh. what if he said this? What if he said I'll marry you, but first you gotta let me put it in your shitter. <laughs> he wouldn't talk to me like that. But he might think you like dirty on the first date. No. I love you or something. Oh, like would that. it be great for if some guy married her and then he just was the most despicable yeah. fucking pervert? Yeah. yeah. Just yeah, grabbing her by the hand. I'm gonna fuck your mouth. I'm gonna fuck your face. I'm gonna. I'm not. You're not gonna suck my cock. I'm gonna fuck your face. Yeah. Come here, And there's pussy a difference, face. bitch. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. Yeah. You are getting your face fucked. He'd be and then he just grabs your hair. No, he wouldn't. You'd be like, whoa, whoa. He looks like Vic Tabak from just fucking Alice. Just choking. Just choking. <laughs> he wears that's that's why you go out uh, with a person for Hold a long on. Time he wears so a sailor know. hat and a fucking tank top. <laughs> you know, and his favorite hobbies are months, fishing, you know? beating immigrants, and mouth fucking. Yeah. <laughs> and you never knew any of it. And then that's you, you, you can know that's on my bio. Him up within six months. And then he goes ass to mouth with you. He pounds your asshole, pulls it out. There's slight streaks of brown shit on his dick and he fucks your face he grabs your mouth and you don't want to open your little chiclet teeth but he fucking squeezes your cheeks so hard that you gotta oh open it God. and he shoves his cock in your face and you taste your own shit that's right I think he'd be in jail after that no, you no you're married, married. It's, legal. No. it's legal you're stuck with the house of horror you'd be in the, you're stuck be in the kitchen it. making him a sandwich after that yeah. and he calls no. your ears he says bring the handles closer <laughs> And he grabs your ears like handles, and he holds on. Uh, like he's doing dips at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that I end up with will never hurt me. He'll be no. my companion. No, it wouldn't hurt hurting. you. That's romantic. Patty, this guy doesn't exist. Face fucking is romantic. Sure do. Well, he, I want to get well, Roland's... Did, but he died yesterday. I, I want to get Roland's opinion on Stalker Patty. What do you think, Roland? You've been hearing Roland, this horseshit for a while seriously. now. Um, horseshit. I don't know. She's delusional with that. I mean, there's no dude like that. What is What do you see that? And what a few values. I don't know. You're 52, and that shit's drying up like a dog yeah, shit on my really. lawn in August. Three in five days. Really? Oh, in yeah. a few days. So maybe 
we can get one in before next Friday. Do you want to squeeze my penis? No. It's kind of hard. Yeah, no. Patty, just squeeze his no. penis. I'm, I'm not Patty. I'm, I'm not telling you. Pants. We're trying to make Patty. a love connection. Patty, what the no, fuck? Through the pants. I know just, it is. Just to, just to be a silly goose. You and Jimmy birthday. have a thing. You know that. You can't get birthday A's through jeans. So, so I, I, <laughs> oh, I forgot she, she knows overpaid. your goddamn birthday. Yeah, she's a psycho. <laughs> You, you, yeah, Daddy, hold the microphone for poor yeah, Patty. Patty, you know Patty, you just want give to a little squeeze. Not too hard. I'll teach you how to squeeze uh -huh. a penis. Through the jeans. I'll teach you how to squeeze a oh. penis. Come on. Come on. Think I'll back. teach you how to squeeze a, a Peter, as we say. Yeah. Th think back to Thanksgiving when you were six at the kids' table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Patty. Get in there. You, I know that's the beauty. You're married. I'm Vic Tayback. I come home. <laughs> I've, I've, been, I've spent the whole day at the fish hatchery. My, I, I smell the showers Vic, broken. Vic oh, it's got a blood-stained apron on. <laughs> yes. What, my, my, what Vic Tayback's job is is I have to remove the vaginas from all the salmon at the fish hatchery <laughs> and throw them into a pile. It's a weird job, but I'm the man who does it. So I'm dirty and disgusting, and I just want my Peter squeeze when I walk in the door. All right, oh. squeeze his. Sounds Peter. like an idea for a pilot. Yes. Oh, Come on, Patty. God. Get in there and squeeze. Come Jimmy's on, before Peter. it gets totally I soft. I don't know where it is. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> it's right below his chin. Yes. <laughs> I think, I think, squeeze. I think you see where it is. Uh, I know. Just gently. Don't I do it too hard. Not too bad. hard. No, don't grab it like it's a boomerang. <laughs> just get in there and squeeze oh, his Peter. God. Okay, give it a squeeze. Go ahead. I'm Easy. Oh, I know. Come me on. too. Believe me. Oh, Danny. Could you go around the other side of her so that people can... Just pretend you're at the supermarket. Can... Come on, cucumbers. Patty, my dick is running for the hills. <laughs> Go ahead, squeeze his Peter. Come on, Get Patty. In there. It's right there. Get in there. Just it's give in it my little... jeans. Give Patty, it... And don't just slow. touch it and move it away. Give it a good honk. Patty, if you give don't... Give it a good honk. One, two... Don't... <laughs> Go ahead, you can do it. <laughs> oh, this... Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Her. Go ahead. She Go really wants to. like a date I had in college. Just gently. It's not a pit bull, for Christ's sake. Get it. Now, you touched it with your pointer finger and thumb. Yeah, you just pinched it. Much the way a coroner picks up evidence. <laughs> how about you, you touch it with your yeah. whole hand? Look how excited my Patty gets. Look yeah, at her. Patty. Patty. It's a dick. You don't pick it up this like Patty that. Patty wants grab cock it. so bad. Patty, just grab yeah, it with your whole up. hand, the palm of your hand, it. Hard. and it. squeeze it a little bit. Oh, that's oh, all. Like you're not gonna, come on. Like, gonna oh, my God. She thinks he's going to come. She thinks he's going to fucking come. Your tits aren't that nice. She has a subtle touch. She grabbed it the way you grab a fucking banister when you're falling. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, a Patty, little, get a little Patty, decorum. Patty. Get in there. Leave it. You, leave your hand there a little while. Yeah. And half she grabbed half the head and half thin air. Yeah. So she pinched the helmet. Patty, you gotta grab the shaft jelly. Not hard. Just, just grab, grab it. it. Just Give it a shake it, it like a little. That. Roland, show her how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> show me with your mouth. Show me how. Rub it. <laughs> Rub it. Get in Rub there, it. Patty. Rub it. You know Not you hard. Just, just soft. This soft. Is so weird. I know. Let's you be are honest. Weird too. No, don't no, don't squeeze it like that. It's I don't know a, how to do it. It's not a spider you're throwing out. <laughs> just rub it like that. <laughs> yeah, just that rub it, Patty. Enough. There you it go. It wasn't enough. Shoot it like Trust that. Trust me, I. I'm more, I've more than met the expectations. No, you have it. I no, want to come in. It's all over you. Just rub it. Like <laughs> <expectations>. <laughs> just rub it like that. Go ahead, Patty. Go ahead, Patty. Go ahead, Patty. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Dirty girl. Rub it like this. Rub it yeah, nice. Just rub it. No, rub it nice. Spock. Not with your fingers <laughs> separated like that. Spock. <laughs> she, 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 she had her fucking Vulcan fingers all open. She was giving you the Spock. It's like being it's like being jerked off by James Colbert. His big fucking arthritic. Oh my god. She has fucking hands like the Starbucks cup mermaid. Pass out. <laughs> you feel like you're gonna pass out? Just right rub it, Patty. Patty. Rub it Just like that. Rub it. Rub it like it's a little like abadusha. <laughs> Get in you're there. You're doing a fine job yourself. I know. I'm now trying to teach you. Come on, rub it. A genie's gonna like come that? out of it. Yeah. Like Keep that? rubbing. Okay. Patting it like a dog's head. I did it like five seconds. Yeah, she rolled. She just rolled in her hands. That's yeah. nice. The way. What the are you making? Cinnabons? <laughs> <laughs> oh. She needs a rolling pin. I'm right. not getting hard. I'm getting the reverse of hard. Like that's actually inverted. Running right, up good. into my asshole. <laughs> I'm like four, four and a half, five. Yeah, Patty, going. pull down yeah. your pants. Dude. Patty. He's going to rest his uh, penis on your backside. Oh, he's just going to no. rest it on your backside. He's just going to rest it on your ass no. crack. Patty, put some, no. put some Tabasco on it. No Jimmy's no. not. Put some Tabasco. <laughs> no, no Jimmy's not. <laughs> no, I think I've exceeded expectations. You don't want him that leaking I a little clear stuff do. down your ass crack? I'll jump oh, in here, no. too. No. I'm not resting my penis on her. You gave it a squeeze through the jeans. And now yeah. I have to tinkle. That's why it's soft. It wasn't your magical touch. Yeah. It was the fact that I had to tinkle. How about he leaks a little clear stuff down your ass crack? No, he doesn't. Yeah, don't no. look at it. She's petrified of the clear stuff. No. Jesus Christ. I couldn't even watch that. 
Can we, can we, we gonna put a little on your ass? How yeah. about he just <laughs> jacks off on your ass? No. no. Shoots a load of hot cum in your ass crack. <laughs> no, Anthony. How about no? this? How about this? No, if I just hold your like butthole that. open no. and make no. a wee wee. <laughs> no. No. I did enough. Patty, how about this? It's like watering uh, a plant. Patty, uh, just hear us out. Hear Jimmy out. How about this? Make you and I pretend wee-wee. we're in a race. Uh-huh. And you're in front of me about to grab the leaky baton. <laughs> But I run too far, and it gets stuck between your butt cheeks, and we spin in a circle, and we make jokes. <laughs> no. Why not? Nothing this. All right. No. Okay, Patty. How about I'm this? Sorry. How about this? Get in. Go. You gently just put your mouth over his cock. No. And Come on. Until he, oh God, until no. he shoots a wad in your mouth. No. How about this? A I don't shoot the wad. Big, thick, wad. wad. No. How about you just hold the head and you, and you go, mm. No. <laughs> like a gerbil, like when they want some water in the fucking tank. No, he has, Danny, no, I, he'll, he has tell you, he'll, he'll tell you when he's going to come. Yeah. No, he and has then, a deal. I'll just, uh, it, okay, I'll go as far as this. I'll touch it for real. You know, that, you know. Without any pants. Yeah, I'll do that. No, you, you won't. you can't have pants <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> no, just, no. just through my pants. I won't let you touch it, Bear. Mm. All right. Wow. I don't want to be physically touched. Close the doors. No. I think we got something going on here. No. Close the doors. Let's lock Patty in studio. And rape her. Can, and, I, can uh, I get out before you close it? <laughs> no, I'm not going to take my pants. Of course no. not. Why would and, you? You know, I, I, wouldn't I can't do that. let you do that to me. Patty, no. would you let a guy come on your tits? No. Ever. Even no. like this magic that, man no. that you're married to? That no. I guess I'll, the shit is out. No. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. How about this? I want to be a lady. What no. if it, well, what too late for that. What if he's fucking you, right? Mm-hmm. And he pulls out and just comes on your belly. Is that okay? No, I don't want that on me. You want, you it, want, you want you? it in you then? No. You then what's going to happen with it? What, you want to be, be 52 you and pregnant? Gonna, you're not no. Gonna, you don't want to use a rubber. I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. A rubber with your husband? After no. you're through menopause and you can't get fucking pregnant, Where do you, you use some to... KY to lube up that fucking We're not old married. well. <laughs> and, and, and then, no, you're married. No, and then he's not. he's <laughs> pumping away with his gray ass hair fucking yeah. glistening in the nightlight. His face is in your neck. He's saying <laughs> different Tell names. This story. <laughs> yeah, I can't let him have this. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Not. Where's he coming? Where's What's he, he supposed to do? Where is he going to orgasm? On coffee table? No, Where's he going to do that? How do you want him to? Where do you want him to come? Where do you want him to orgasm? Where's it going to go? In a fucking... napkin or something. In a in napkin. A napkin. Oh, what are you at what the fu- Where are you going to find this guy? At IHOP. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's enough. There's single men out there that are willing to fuck you and come in a napkin. <laughs> are yeah, you out of your you only mind? With somebody you're in love with who cares. But that's about what I'm you. saying. This is the guy who that cares. Who puts this about shit you. in women's head? Long, Unbelievable. Long who puts this in these girls' six heads? Months or more All right. So, we got so that six months, he can come inside you. If we're going steady for six steady. months, steady. Going steady. Oh, fuck are you, Who the Sandra fuck you D. Dating, Potsy? <laughs> fucking Sandra D. <laughs> what are you be wearing his letter jacket? Wait, fair enough. Now Patty has said that. Well, if wait he, till we get pinned. If you were the guy for six months and you're both in love, <laughs> and yeah. you're, you're monogamous, Doctor Norton. Yeah. And he wanted to, you know, if he, if say Vic climbed on, and he was inside of you. <laughs> Vic, <laughs> Vic Tabak. So with this, yeah, someone that's what I she, was ex- Extremely in love with him. Right. Hold on, baby. Do you, you like Vic Tater? The orgasm was coming. And he, he said, like in a pirate voice, wrap your legs around and be back. Because that's how he talks <laughs> when he comes for no reason. <laughs> he talks like a pirate. He goes into pirate speech. He can't help it. Role playing and stuff. That's kind of fun. Yeah. What kind of fantasy oh, you like role playing? playing? You, know, just you like can make believe you're a woman. You know, like fantasy type. Well, you Patty, know? what kind? Give us help. <laughs> okay. I'm with the guy for a long time, and uh-huh. uh, he comes home. And Are you going to use that tone of voice to all relate to one like a maid, and I would have nothing on underneath. Well, most people don't have anything underneath the uniform. What do you think they put on a uniform <laughs> over a prom dress? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. You're going to be dressed like a maid? Yeah, or dress like a Playboy bunny or something. No, you better stick with oh maid. I can Jesus. see maid. Hold on. <laughs> Playboy <laughs> bunny might be some sexy. sexy outfits for Patty yeah. to try yeah. on. Playboy bunny with the little ears. Yeah. A little French a little maid, maybe, too. A little maybe, French maid you know, outfit. Little sure. I'm trying to with figure that. out the you maid. You dress like the rabbit in Fatal Attraction. But it would be a relationship. Would you put on a strap on? 
when you put on a belt with oh a penis. Oh, my attached. God. Yeah, because I don't go that way. How do you feel about fun. Devo hats? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say, you know what? God damn it. Opie asked a brilliant question. Yeah. What if what if your husband, Vic, your boyfriend who you were in love with, <laughs> <laughs> when you were kissing? Like, this Vic is something. Yeah, if he, he said, Patty. I need to get popped in the shitter. If he said, <laughs> I need, to, I need to get popped in the shitter. And you said, what do you mean, Vic? And he said it was something that Flo would do to him at the diner. He liked to be entered. If he said, I need you to enter me. And he, and he had like a special strap on belt. And he just wanted to put his big Greek mandolins on your shoulders. <laughs> and have you fucking treat his asshole like you're fucking drilling for oil. I mean, I'm trying to say this nicely. Uh, yeah. What w would you do it? Yeah. This is. Yeah. How about if, if before you put it in, he goes spitting it? Yeah. yeah. How long do you have to go steady before you would pop Six. another guy, uh, another guy, a guy in the a shitter, guy with the strap on. in the shitter, <laughs> make that strap on look like a collapsing more. crane? Six months minimum. Six. Just then leave a wreck on his ass. Wait, six months and you might pop a. a, a you're steady that gets in the you shitter. Six months to get to know the person. All right, so she might do with. that, uh, Jimmy. That gives you six months. So to would get it go from would it go from just talking to on six months later you're you're fucking him in the ass with a dildo, or do you like slowly start with with stories about you know getting a little yeah. sexy? Do you get sexy talk? Do you do, do sexy texts? Yeah. What do you do? I, All right, Patty, I take would your. Hope he would get sexy texts. We hold on. We have a strap I on. Love you, yeah. Or sweet right. love Patty, letters. You nice sweet things. love letters. But what about the dirty talk? All right, Patty, take your jeans Patty, off. Patty, your date is here. <laughs> there it is. Patty, take your jeans off. Seriously. <laughs> Yeah. Why? Take, we're going to show you how to put this right. on. strap on. It's not going to do anything. Don't worry. It's not going to do anything. It's brand new. Take it's off your jeans. On. Just what take your jeans off. It doesn't off. go in you. It's Have we ever hurt you in studio? Patty, well, it straps on. Like, you don't know a strap on when you see it. It straps on you. She thinks it's a hat. I know. No, it's okay. You don't have to be. We're doing it as a goof. You don't have to be. You'll fuck a guy with it. Oh, she's relax, got Patty. Get your XM panties. XM nice. Radio fucking panties. Fucking on. nice. All right, look at that. There you go. All right, drop the jeans. Could you take the jeans yeah. off, Lose please? Jeans. You look like you're fucking like, getting an exam. Yeah. Let's let's sexy this up a yeah, little bit. She's got fucking XM underwear on. She's yeah, a body yeah. like Iggy Pop. <laughs> <laughs> they happen to be clean. So we know. Oh, oh, fucking wow. satellite underwear. What the fuck? That's her selling point. They happen to be clean. Oh, we, we all got you Step them. out of your jeans, Patty, Patty please. please. We don't want you to trip and fall and fucking break your head. Yeah. <laughs> we, well, we do, but... Yeah, we can get in trouble. We get in trouble for it, so... Patty. Hey, do you know how that strap's on? What? Not you, Danny. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. It's, yeah, it's it's kind of a wacky contraption. Where's fucking stupid Dave? He would know. Is he side Dave here? Yeah, he would know. Of course, Sam knows. He, Sam. Dave wouldn't know. He just knows what it feels like from behind. Patty. Whatever you do, don't put this on YouTube or anything. We're not gonna oh, put it on YouTube. Come on, YouTube. Patty. They wouldn't right do that to, to you. That would be YouTube. crazy. <laughs> they wouldn't YouTube. do that, Patty. <laughs> We'll put her on ABC at 8 o'clock on a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Those are really nice doily socks. Jesus Christ, Patty. What the fuck? I look she's how long it takes to get her pants off. <laughs> it looks like she's wearing those things that chicks put on their feet when they're trying on shoes at the shoe store. <laughs> yeah. That's what she's wearing. A sock. <laughs> yeah, you're those not are supposed the to take those with you. They're horrible. You're supposed to give them back after not you try Not for nothing, though. For 52, she ain't that, you know. She's not bad she's at all. She's hanging in there, Jimmy. Yeah. She certainly is. <laughs> I've seen a lot of dents on younger bros. All right, let's go. Let's uh, step into the... I don't know. Patty knows. Patty, now around your forehead. There you go. go yeah, there. step in. <laughs> Can someone show Patty how to put on the fucking strap-on? Okay, strap-on step dildo. In, step in with your left leg into that one, and then we'll try to buckle the I hope she too. falls over. It <laughs> bangs her head with her on her on falls with over and it goes up her pussy. I saw this at a fucking... <laughs> Ugly. <laughs> it's ugly. That was actually the dildo talking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Patty, we're strapping the dildo on you. What's wrong with you? Oh, shit. Come on, Patty. All right. What are you guys carrying? Ew. There you this go. is yucky. What? Now, now it, it looks like... Yucky. they call it the hot seat? Well, that's... Yeah. No. That's it. <laughs> All right, it's being strapped yeah. on. Now, Patty... Like, fuck around with it a little. Yeah. Play with it like you you had a cock. Hold it in your hand. Yeah, hold it in your hand. Yeah. There you go. A there few people go. have used that before, so just don't get shit on your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, look, you got a dick. <laughs> what do you think? I don't like it. No, well, leave it on. Leave it on. Leave, leave it on. Just leave stand there on. with a cock for a while. That's right. Now grab it. 
Is she allowed to walk around the block like that? <laughs> Grab it and wave it, like, angrily. Yeah, like, eh? <laughs> Act like a guy. Hold your penis yeah. and say something. Hold your like yeah. guy, though. Talk like a guy and grab your cock. Like grab your cock like and talk like a guy. Let's go. What yeah. would you say? Grab that cock and say something. Say, thank you, eHarmony. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to join Lava Life, but I don't know how to upload my picture. Lava yeah, Life? I Lava don't know Life. How to take my picture the fuck from is that? MySpace uh, and put yeah. it onto there. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. Well, I I'll help oh. you with Lava Life. Can we get Patty to walk around the block with the strap no, on? No, I will not. Come on, Patty. No. We'll have People a little parade. Know me. What's it to you? Who knows Who you? Who knows you? Who? The not outside. Oh, no. The crane operator's no. dead. No. <laughs> she has a sexy way of saying no. Know me. Yeah, that, oh. that voice Who is turning me you? on. Besides People Rush fans. Starbucks will be out there, and I've worked in their stores before. No. Yeah. I'll give you what are you hunching so over for? This Starbucks. looks like an army physical. No. Patty's going to walk into her own Starbucks. Yes. Is that no. odd? Yes. That's some cock you're sporting there, Patty. Patty, I'll buy you. That's some cock you're sporting. This is a... Let me tell you, it's a miracle I went this far. I wouldn't yeah, classify would it as a miracle. <laughs> yeah, a miracle. <laughs> Fucking One miracle. She's comparing this with face. walking on water, wearing a rubber... <laughs> Dick. He turned fucking one loaf into a thousand loaves, <laughs> and Dumbella put on a fake penis. <laughs> <laughs> Patty. It feels weird. What? What? How, how, it how feels weird having a cock? Well, how do you think it looks? What you. do you think it looks like when a guy jerks off? Yeah. Go ahead, do that. Yeah, show us a guy. Show us what a guy looks like jerking off. Show Yeah. Show us a girl. Well, yeah. I see it on uh, Pal Talk sometimes. Oh. I've I've gone <laughs> Not with your camera. Sometimes. Yeah. She guaranteed they've never seen. You as the, she they thinks they're like jerking that. off, they but they're like their fingers are down their throat. Like like <laughs> All right, hold on, she, hold like on, that. start over because that was yeah. amazing. Do it again. We're do it again. Filming this. He's right behind you. Hold this, on, and do this, and right. do that. Patty's demonstrating how guys jerk off on Pal Talk. One more time. Don't do like it. this, and then like this, and like this, and then like that, and then they stop and go like, and then they go like. Hold on. At that point, I go click. What happened? You ever see somebody do the money shot and and come? No, they don't do that. I don't see that on Pal Talk. She was no. moving like the fucking guy dancing in The Godfather. I even saw one guy do this. He like pulled that, it. and then snap it back, and then I hey, clicked off. Hey, do we have any hand. fake pussies in the office? Yeah. All right, get a, uh, pussy. Right, get a wanna, fake pussy. We're going to have Patty uh, see Patty's have fucking sex style. Yeah, we want to see how you. We'll you get a fake sex. pussy. That's right. You'll lube that up, and you're going to fuck the fake pussy That's right. with what your we'll fake do, cock. Here's what we'll do with the fake pussy. I'll put it over my ass cheeks. Right. So you're you can crazy. act. No, 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 not again. <laughs> you really? Why not? Oh, that'd be awesome. You can act like you're giving. Your, All right, we got to sleep. All we, need right. the, we need the big fake pussy. Where's the big fake ass? What the fuck the is fuck that? The, who the That's fuck a pink what sock. is that? A fucking Dairy who Queen fuck took our fake <laughs> pussy home. It looks like Cubert. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cubert's nose. <laughs> more importantly, what the fuck is that? more importantly, oh, someone took the fake pussy home. I have it on my desk. I put pens in it. Bro. <laughs> What's it's up, like Danny? a fucking Great Dane's uh, pussy. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Jimmy, would what? you put that on your ass, I guess? No. Is that a tasty freeze? Well, you know what we could do? We could, we could like, duct tape it to the console so it doesn't move around. All right, that sounds good. And then uh, give it a good fucking Wait, there, do we have, like, a Playboy centerfold or something? we yeah. got to have some kind of, you know, stimulant. We have yeah, a okay. large cardboard yeah. cutout yeah, yeah, yeah. of a wrestler? <laughs> 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 All right, Patty's got the strap on. On. I got to pee right. real quick. So right oh, oh you wow, can't. you got to jerk gotta do off. Something silly in there. How about a quick oh, break as we it. set up for uh, Starker Patty's first fucking? Yeah, yeah that's good. I need. Uh, I, Starker I think, Patty yeah. wearing yeah. the strap on will be fucking a, a fake long day pussy. of radio. You guys are underpaid. Oh, yeah. I right. really want to fucking get genius. Fucking... This stuff. I'm so tired. Fucking despicable human beings we are. Make a fake woman and we'll be back. But it is something. The Opie and Anthony Show. I want to thank. Nick DiPaolo for stopping by, nickdip.com for his comedy days, but more importantly, tonight, one night only, two shows, Caroline's here in New York City. There you go. Thank you, You're fellas. quite welcome there, Thank you there, for Nick. having me. You're very You're nice. You're not leaving, are you? I'm not going nowhere. Patty's no. gonna give not until Patty fucks somebody. Uh, Patty's going <laughs> to poke me in the fucking pussy bomb. Yeah, I don't know how we got to this point, but basically, we got Stalker Patty in studio. She has a strap-on dildo on. Uh, Jimmy has agreed to let Patty... <laughs> Uh, fuck the the fake pussy that Jimmy's gonna have between his ass uh, cheeks. Yeah, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna hold it with my boxers on because it's all sticky <laughs> with tape, and it's gonna kind of feel. It looks like a, a proboscis. 
um, and I'm going to hold it between my legs, so it's going to poke out. I'm going to look. I'm going to look like a fucking a chimp. Have you ever seen a chimp pussy with that big oh, red? It already looks like you've been pink socked. Yeah, Look it looks thing. like I'm already coming off a fucking I hard night. Yeah. I saw this on Leave It to Beaver. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, Jimmy, this is the lost episodes. <laughs> Jimmy, could you put the thing between your legs just to see how it's going to look? Yeah, right, let's let see what it's going to look like. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I dropped the motherfuckers. I'm going to keep my motherfucking boxers on. <laughs> Jimmy has All right, boxers Jimmy's on. Falling down his boxers. All right. Always. <laughs> adjusting his, his dick there. All right, you're getting big laugh. Turn around, Jimmy. Let's. I want to see how this looks. That's what Patty's gonna have sex with. Ass. You know what this bit needs? One more thing. Yeah. A real cock. I mean, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, slipped. Uh, the listeners in studio for this bit. Come oh. on. Yes. Let's get. Uh, oh. We got a nice crowd. Get the bleaches the in here. The crowd has been growing all uh, morning long. We got yeah. at least twenty people out there. We're gonna quickly bring the bleachers in, and then Stalker Patty's gonna uh, start Fuck Jimmy. S start her a uh, fucking. I this, won't really take... A, what? What's wrong? Is this a bad time to talk about the uh, presidential election coming up? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. It's what Hillary's doing to the Democratic Party. Oh! <laughs> Get it? Yes. God damn right, I, I tie it all into Hillary. All fucking sticks of butter legs. All right, the bleachers <laughs> are in studio, and the uh, the fans are filing in. Ooh. Get a good seat. Come on in, guys. Just like Wrigley feel, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. This is like a Rockwell. <laughs> all right, Patty. All right, Patty, stand up. As uh, the now, let's put my vagina in. <laughs> All right, Jimmy's gonna put his vagina. You bet, Jimmy is. How many times have we heard that in the last two weeks? <laughs> All right, now can you guys get a good view? Wait, get a mic in front of these guys. They get Where's a mic the in best front? camera okay. for this one. Holy shit! <laughs> this is what a mess. This is. I'm getting, I'm getting queasy. And Mrs. Voorhees is having fun. All right. All right. All right, uh, Jimmy. Wait, I gotta get him. Go to one. Right, hold on. I got get Just Patty, don't get lube all over my underpants. Wait, are we lubing up the cock or the fake pussy? I say you lube. What do you think, guys? So I don't know. Sorry. Ask, the, ask the audience members. Yeah. <laughs> That's I'm right. sorry, Danny. We have to go to the other side again. Yeah, you vote for problem? what you think. All right. Uh, <laughs> sorry. All right. Uh, yeah, the audience. It's audience participation Friday, so. Should we lube up the fake pussy that Jimmy has between his ass cheeks? Oh, I would say it has to be. Jimmy is now bending over. This, this will be on the. This is going to be on the Food Network. <laughs> this is horrific. Oh, this is horrible. Jimmy's all the way bent over. Looks He's like got his boxers Jimmy, on. Jimmy CD on. covers. <laughs> now, Patty. I'm bent over. My vagina, vagina is... She's fucking mesmerized. <laughs> Patty, what are you thinking? It's Get called a presenting, Patty. by the right, way. You're the presenting. Kingdom. All right, Jimmy is certainly presenting. Hold on, let me get make sure it's nice and snug, Patty. I'd hate to have you think I was a loose girl. <laughs> 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 fucking size queen. <laughs> That's right, Patty. Is it now nice I'm, and tight, Jimmy? Yeah, I'm clenching yeah. my legs in an attempt to say just, no. Just put that <laughs> in <laughs> that. Yeah, well, yes, let Patty, Patty lube up her own works, cock. Patty. Patty will lube up her own cock. This is actually education. Yeah. Yeah. Patty, 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 all right, you lube, lube up, up your, your cock. cock. It's brand new lube, so you don't have to worry about nothing. That's yeah. right, Patty. All right. Hey, Patty. Now Patty's get, putting some lube on her just, left hand. Even get if a I lot say on there. No, get a good I mean, one. Yes. <laughs> Patty is lubing lube it up, up her good. cock. No, lube no, it up good. Yeah, lube it up. Jerk it a little bit. Yeah, Patty. Get, get, it, on, get it all around. All righty. What are you doing? This is going to hurt. See how unsexy that is? Do you love me? Tissue. Exactly. Uh, tissue. 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 Could you say something unsexy? No, you're going to be coming into the her, tissue. Her, <laughs> her accent. It's amazing the things she comes out with during a sexual moment. Yeah. Fucking, hey, do you got any sandpaper and a Yankee hat? <laughs> Patty, right, please, I'm presenting. Yeah. My right. pink fat Let's lips. Oh, hold on, hold on, Patty. Yeah, hold on, Patty. Do it. You gotta wait Jesus for Christ, moment. Patty. Hold on, she goes, where does it go in here? How many options are there, Patty? <laughs> it's either there or hold you're going to fuck my shoes. <laughs> Jimmy, your pussy's drooping a little bit. My pussy does droop. Open. Hold on here. Hold on. Jimmy's pussy's drooping Whenever a little bit. Whenever it's warm, my, my vagina crooked. gets shy. Should Hold we go on, sideways Patty. so the the listeners can see this, or the, the listeners can see it? Uh -oh. Patty, say, Patty, right. the vein goes underneath. The Hold on. All right, J Jimmy's hoisting his fake pussy She's up in the air. putting it sideways. Like a Come on, Patty. I'm clenching my butt cheeks. No, wait, Patty. You just don't put it in. Say something yeah. sexy. Yeah, it's going to be romantic. Yeah. Make me feel like I'm a lady. <laughs>
<laughs> Jimmy's bent over the console. Yeah. Uh, Patty's behind right, him. Focus. What? Dick you know. in hand. Act like a guy for us. Shit, I'm not in the shot, out. am I? It's a little hard. Yes, it is. Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. you sound like me. If I got All right. my wife. Think. <laughs> talk okay, like you think a guy would talk. Baby cakes. Here they go. <laughs> Holy shit. Are okay, you doing Elliot Spitzer? <laughs> okay, sweet baby cakes. Sweet baby cakes. Uh, here, they, here they go. The fucking what? Harlem Globetrotters theme songs. <laughs> <laughs> like Long Island. <laughs> oh. You could do better than that, Patty. Come I'm on, Patty. What are you doing? Get in. Come on, Patty. Oh, I've been going out with you for a long time. Yes, you oh, have. God damn, she's got to establish a fucking relationship. <laughs> Even in dirty talk, she has Are to get you the crazy. Hey, let's go through the whole role play. There was traffic on the Long Island Expressway. <laughs> All right, let's... I'm gonna bottom out in your seat. Oh, no, bottom so... out in your seat. Wow. Jeez. Where'd you learn that, Sesame Street? What the fuck? Come on, Patty. All right, Patty. Talk let's dirty go. Yeah, to it. Let Jimmy and Patty. Patty talk a little bit. Patty, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Talk, yeah. talk to me. Tell me what you could tell me that you love me and what you're gonna do to me. <laughs> I love you and I'm gonna have sex with you. <laughs> God, that's so... I'm gonna bottom out in your C. No, I don't know what C means, yeah, Patty. Right. Patty, Patty what's we're C? A couple. Use language like that. All right, well, let's just try to pretend. <laughs> you're being your Vic. Yeah. I'm Patty. Yeah. I'm it's... gonna bottom out in your. Uh, Dippity do. Oh, oh d what an old lady's <laughs> hair product! <laughs> What's a dippity do? That's what I had to, that's what I had to do when I swallowed one of my replacement teeth. I had to dip my fingers in do. Nothing on that one. Sorry, I'm Patty, not Jim. Jim, Jim would have had a good one. I don't. All right, Patty, let's uh, let's go. Let's He's got go. His headphones. All right. Here we go. Here goes right, right, Patty. Patty's like getting all sexy. Patty, oh, it's, it's, oh, go slow. Patty, it's radio, so you gotta go explain what's going slow. on. Oh. I got it Go slow. No. I'm a lady. Patty, call it a pussy. Say, like, t talk dirty. Say, now I'm going to fuck your pussy. Now I'm going to F your P. What does that oh mean? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. What does that mean? What's the Finish my pie? What does that mean? Finish your pussy. pie. You F my P. Uh, All right. Oh, ow. Is it in? Yeah, it is. All right, fuck them. Good. Oh, go back and forth. Treat me go. like a lady. Go in and out, Patty. I am. No, you're not. You said you were going to bottom out. You only got the Come tip on. in. Yeah. Grab, grab his hips and pull him in towards you. This is like this like, old house. Like that. No, his hips. <laughs> grab his <laughs> hips and fuck him, for not God's sake. What's the matter with you? You're fucking my leg, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucking Lassie, you're women. humping my leg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tiptoer. What can I You're say? a tiptoer. Tip tower. What's tip that mean? Through the tulips. Yes, you Another should. Forty-year-old reference. <laughs> oh, it's awful. It's Jesus Christ! Tiny Tim fucking reference. She should tiptoe through a fucking an IED field <laughs> and fucking set it up. kind of love. All right, I know. Just right. put it in. Me. Please like, just put fuck it in. You send me. Come put on, hurt Jesus. me. Out the window. Put it in. Go in any further. Yes, Come you on. can. Rookie. Bottom out. This is like Yankee <laughs> Workshop. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Patty, pull out and shove back in yeah. and repeat. Hold my hips. There you go. Hold his That's hips. That's right. Not his back, his hips. You're yeah. Hold him by the hips. Fuck him. What are you me. doing? Fuck me. You are right. one lousy fuck. All right. I she's Come on. All right. She's, got she's not. <laughs> no, she's bottoming out and you see. Go ahead. Yeah. She's got to hold the, the, the hold penis. On, let me reach under there yeah, and hold, hold the vagina snug. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Jimmy's holding the vagina oh. snug. Oh. Oh. You now go ahead. Push, push it in. Push. Are you oh. enjoying this, Jimmy? <laughs> I, I'm Patty. Yes, I'm enjoying it. Make me feel like a lady. My lips are chapped. <laughs> All righty. Oh, I me... think we're on our set of twins by now. Can I? Set of oh twins. my God, Patty! Don't you didn't say come all righty. Yet. You I've don't been say all righty. Ten hours. Patty, yeah. ten Talk hours. Dirty. <laughs> I know. Well, at least she's got improv skills. Talk about how you're gonna fucking Jimmy, please come fart. and stop. Please. Patty, uh, come on. You're gonna go I'm to trying outer to space <laughs> to a world that no one's been walking on before. Very smooth. That's some great sex That's, talk. Yeah, it's really I'm good. Out of space to a world she gives I'm the beginning no. fucking dialogue from <laughs> Star Trek she's giving. Fucking Bill Curtis <laughs> has sexier things on his show. Bill Curtis. <laughs>
<laughs> on the night of November 9th. Yeah, being such a good the forensic sport, files. on my trip to Atlantic City next week. Atlantic, 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 Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Atlantic City. how does it feel to yeah. like uh, have get... sex with a pussy there? She... I remember seeing the diving I, horse exactly off the steel I pier. I can only imagine. I want to fart so badly. <laughs> so uh, they did the Lindy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm trying to push off. Only I hope out. he doesn't yeah. do it this rough with me. When this I'm rough? You fucking haven't even broken my chair yet. <laughs> You're fucking jabbing my cherry like it's a fucking spider web. It's still standing. Right, Put the right. cock in farther. Make me fucking submit. I can't do it any further. Yes, you can. Push it in, you little Jimmy, silly goose. Jimmy, it's screw, screw farting. Splatter all over. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I don't care. Right now, I'm so fucking... You don't have no idea. <laughs> Talk to me. Teach me a lesson. So I can fucking force out. Why didn't I take my Amusel? Oh, <laughs> oh, wow, she spared you. you a lesson. I, I learned you well. Talk about how you're gonna come. Yeah, Talk about me. what schools you're gonna send your kids to. <laughs> spank me. Let Nick show you. Nick, get back. <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay, I just came. No, no, I'm oh, gonna. Uh, oh, I can oh, tell by Tony your voice. Yeah. No, that was all sexy, Patty. Yeah. Talk to me, spank me, fucking make me want it. Yeah. You want it, you oh. want it. Easy now, you might break oh, something. Oh God, all right. good one. And build up to an orgasm. Yeah, Patty. build up like you know a. You want it. You've heard, you've seen porn. You've seen, yeah, you've seen what it's like when a guy orgasm. fucking Let's shoots go. a load. Come on, put yeah. it out with you. I turn the channel to. Oh, of course stop. you do. You do not. Come on. I can't watch television. All right. All right. <laughs> make like you're Jesus. make like you're shooting a load in him now. Yeah. I just. In oh, her. I just did. Wow. <laughs> the hell was that? Good. Did you come or just take a shit? Oh. What was it? It's <laughs> <laughs> like on a roller coaster. Yeah. Oh. Fuck, she's riding oh. a cyclone. <laughs> You know, Patty, this was just can't, as can't important for me as it was for you. <laughs> <laughs> you think this is an accident, Patty, that I'm taking one near my shitter? I'm giving it a shot. <laughs> I've been dumped in my relationship. I'm giving it a shot. I might like this. 39, it's time for a change. <laughs> It'll be yeah. a whole new dimension in the Opie and Anthony show. Okay. Oh, shit. All righty. <laughs> Well, yeah. all righty. Should it be over by now? Yes. Well, Your life? Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all Got a note from Governor Patterson. Uh, <laughs> I can't get it all right. He just. Oh, 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 what, what happened? happened? Oh, what happened? Like, he did, a, a clitorectomy. <laughs> oh! My pants came down. It's like a, it's, <laughs> what happened? He's taking like the a, dildo off. Like a the strap on. It looks weird. And it, uh, it just. No. The dildo, f uh, I mean, the fake pussy just flew off of it. Yeah. Like, snapped oh off of it. Oh, my God, it feels like real skin. Yeah, that, that would be... One. What do you think it's oh, going to like feel that, like? Don't a fucking you? cylindrical yeah, piece of that metal? Yeah, at least feels like it's plastic. That oh, feels feel that, real. then. Feel that. Yeah, feel Wrap your hand like around it. Skin. Yeah. Wrap it around your hand. No, I have That's the whole idea, Patty. Yeah. 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 Now suck on that thing. No. <laughs> oh, wait, Anthony, stop. Oh, oh okay. that's why she draws the line. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. Oh, fuck yeah, Jimmy and a fake I pussy, but... I just simulated it fucking ass-fucking for now, but I'm not going to put yeah, that in my You're not a mouth. virgin anymore. How's that feel? <laughs> well, if I was a guy, I wouldn't be a virgin anymore. Well, wait till your fucking future boyfriend finds out you did this in front of a bunch of people. It's yeah, going to be hard to find right. a nice guy now. You fucking whore. Yeah, it would have to be oh somebody my God. that's This is where the emotional abuse comes in? Yeah. yeah, now we just gotta pound it with some emotional abuse. Holy everybody. shit, I'm witnessing a felony here. <laughs> <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Uh, yeah, why not? Sexy? <laughs> well, uh... That was. Uh, that that was like watching the Iron Chef. <laughs> I want to thank uh, Five Hour Energy for sponsoring that last uh, bit of radio. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's great. That was sponsored. Yeah, we we hand out the Five Hour Energy to the listeners when they stop by to check out the show. It wakes up your brain and gets you bright, alert, and focused without the jitters or the crash later in the day. Five Hour Energy, go check mm -hmm. it out this weekend. I think we also have to thank uh, Adam and Eve. Dot com for supplying us with the lovely oh the sex pussy. toys. Oh really? Oh, the big fake pussy. I thought you got really those needed. at Target. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, oh, Patty, into the mic, please, Patty. Patty. Into the mic, Patty. Into the mic, please. Pretend it's a dick, that's it. Do, do you, uh, do, I, I know we've given you a vibrator. Do you use that at home? Yeah, she does. Well, I gotta admit it, you know. Yeah, well, sure. But I think every adult does well, that. Well, yeah. yeah. So what do you, what do you think of when you used your, uh, your vibrator at home? 
Um, I don't. I guess you know. After I've had a very stressful day, and I've been yeah. under a lot of stress lately, wow. yeah. it, it makes you, it iron. loosens you up. <laughs> oh, it you loosens you up. Wait, what is yeah. she stressed about? What are you stressed about, Petty? Not meeting oh, Mister Wright? Yeah. No. You work what? at Starbucks. I, I have. She does. Well, I'm in a. I'm going into a debt consolidation program <laughs> next month to help More me get all my medical Wait, bills. Wait, a debt consolidation? Stuff. So they're gonna tell you like the fucking put the money you save for stamps. In the, I couldn't think of anything else really inexpensive. Well, how much yeah. debt could you be in? The t tens well, of dollars. So debt much, consolidation. They're gonna give know, her a bunch I'm, of penny well, rolls. <laughs> Here, well, consolidate I'm, your. <laughs> You know, consolidate those in these rolls and bring them to the bank, you idiot. <laughs> oh, you know, like, I have a lot of debt. You know, my XM bill, I'm paying them off $25 a week. Holy so I'm shit. turned off for the next month until I could get She's paid it up. Wait, so how is everybody who heard this thing? How is she paying for right? XM? Started, so Wait, how much did, hold on, Patty. We're trying to help you out. How much, how much do you owe XM? I owed them like uh, I owed a hundred and three. I gave them twenty five. So now I'm down to like in the eighties. She's Once paying I off a vig for fucking XM. It's fucking yeah, hard I'm as paying breaking. off medical bills and stuff that I owe from clinical tests because I what have. What kind of test? Did uh, well, I'm developing a lot of arthritis <laughs> on my knees, <laughs> and it's Gee, I didn't notice it while you fucking Jimmy. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. painful. It's Why around we my wrist, oh, sorry, right hand. I think we should call her knees. health provider. I don't yeah. know if she has arthritis. Right, I'm about three thousand dollars in debt for. All right, well, I'm not giving you that, but I'll give you sixty towards your XM bill, and then you can get twenty for somebody else. Mm -hmm. All right, don't clap at 60 oh, bucks. Oh, Please. boy, now we got to dig or else we look like assholes. We look like scumbags now if we don't give her money. Soon as the show is over, Patty. she has to make the brrrr <laughs> sound of my balls. Patty, I got, four, I got four dollars. There you go. Patty, girl, Patty, pick it <laughs> up one at a time. Oh. Thank you, four times. Uh, here's, uh, here's, here's 50 for you, Patty. Here you go, you fucking prostitute. <laughs> there you go. Take it away. You I gave left me some on the night you. table for you now. Scram. How you much? gave me a deep dickin' and sang for your <laughs> supper. <laughs> Are we got All right, it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Patty, uh, I'm just we a guest. <laughs> yeah, you're just a guest. Patty, I'm just a guest. Right through you. How much do you owe altogether? That'll cover your arthritis, well, together, right? There. Well, it originally was a hundred and three, but I started making no all your debt in oh, your whole debt? life. Yeah, to I go have to it all debt in a consolidation. Green book. I'm about three thousand in debt to everybody in the world. I have people. Everybody in the up world. Where do, you, stuff. where do you live? I live in an SRO. My rent went up another hundred dollars. What's an, what's an SRO? Something Single retard. Single room oh. occupancy. Oh. On Forty third. Do you share a bathroom okay. with like people that are also no, I don't. SROs? Only with my cat. That's you shit it. in a box? <laughs> <laughs> no, she shits in the box. I have oh, you potty it. mouth. <laughs> you potty mouth. Well, you yeah, use the happened? S word. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody Oof. uses that word. Oh, okay. No, they don't. Yeah. Not a lady. A lady doesn't use that word. No. Well, you can get a house in Massa. I'm a lady in different yeah, ways. 60 bucks. <laughs> 60 bucks in Massa. I will admit, I do have a mouth on me. Yeah. <laughs> you use it for anything. <laughs> Just Christ. Come yeah. on. Oh, my God. So you're dead. I don't feel good well, about myself. Well, that's why I'm no. in the consolidation program. They'll take right, everything and might even reduce my Enough debt. Enough about so the consolidation. Awesome. I know. Yeah. It's that fucking yeah. accent that's going through me I'm like a knife. Isn't it the worst? Oh, I hope they, like, possess like your computer and fucking chair. <laughs> oh, no. So you have to just stand there, yeah. pick up pens. <laughs> let's, let's, I'm taking off my panty. <laughs> let's make her work a... So sexy. Let's make her work a corner or something. For yeah. Her, we did. <laughs> Do you realize you could whore yourself out and make... Make like hundreds and hundreds you could a day. I do that. No, Those she could Dude, like, you oh, put she her on would. Yeah, Sandy exactly K, the point. She'll live forever. <laughs> you put her on like uh, Craigslist. Somebody will pay good money to fuck a Imagine this version. fucker <laughs> showing up at your house. I think I have an idea. <laughs> oh, Danny, oh, yes. Danny might have an what idea. if? Oh, no. They still have like live shows somewhere in New York, right? Oh, yeah, Flash maybe we can. Yeah, something. maybe we can get her in a booth or yeah, something and have all the fans go down there, pay a dollar. <laughs> oh, like uh, and she has to dance for them. How about we do it right the here? Closes. Like the Peep World or something, or Show World or something. We got a bunch show of fans up. here right now. We can like uh, do this right. Yeah. Oh, wait, we got a poll. We got the platform. You want to dance and uh, maybe the uh, oh. fans could throw you some money. They're not gonna just throw you money. You're gonna you got a strip. You're gonna have to work for it. You gotta earn it like a working girl. Do a strip too. Like a working girl. A strip tease. Oh. I turn the uh, bleachers yeah. sideways. Toward fucking strip the tease. stripper pole. Ooh. That'll oh. buy a lot of ibuprofen. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, right. Wow, here we are. Around. Exotic West Coast dancers. Hey, hey Patty, what song <laughs> you want to dance to? The Emperor's Club. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Client 9. <laughs> Leave your socks on. Hey, I can't what song do you want to dance to? Doctor Feelgood. By, uh, you Motley Crue is always good. No, you know the fucking stripper song. Uh, you too, Mysterious Ways. Oh, what? The old uh, old time. Mar Marshy's Playground. No, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, Cher, something Cher. Candy. Candy, yeah. candy, yes. The candy song. Yeah. Oh, oh, you'll know in a second, honey. Oh, it was by yes. Sammy Davis Jr. I don't know and that's you don't know fucking you. music if you don't know titles. <laughs> exactly. Thanks. God what do you say? Your ear picks up sounds? <laughs> I know music. How cute is this girl? Yeah. Well, we should have her warm up for Pat. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. No, I would have taken the underwear off and just said, fuck the fake pussy. God, she get legged. Yeah. Right, Miss, I don't know how to ask you this, but do you ever shit in somebody's <laughs> mouth for a few dollars? <laughs> Patty? Yeah. What song? She goes, I wouldn't take money for that. Oh, 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 George Michael. A George right. Michael song? All right, no, which one? We got to throw Marcy's Playground. <laughs> well, George Michael's. Just candy. What song? Come on, Candy. Uh, I think that Candy thing. I don't know what it's... I, I don't... All right, it's Marcy's Playground. How about the theme to Barney Miller? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. Whole audience is like 20. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> an awful <laughs> Dickie Punchcock is very confused. I did some feedback. Dickie Punchcock? He says, uh. Of the Punchcocks? She, yeah. yeah. She, she lives in an SRO. I thought she had SROs, which are shriveled, rotten ovaries. <laughs> oh. 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 That had to hurt. Yeah. That Patty's was in here because she's way over there. Hurtful. All right, Patty, you ready to, to dance for everybody? And if the audience likes what they're seeing, you can throw a buck or two at her, or, or preferably right. change right at her head. <laughs> <laughs> He's kidding, sir. The fucking, the lunatic in the Phillies hat stood up with a fistful of change. Right. She was just kidding. All right, Patty, kidding. ready? If you do well, uh, you might, uh, I don't know, gain another seven or eight bucks here. <clears throat> Have fun. Can we get the music playing, She is please? a trooper. I'll give her that one. All right, turn it up. All right, hold on. Pull him up. Good music. Pull him up. We oh. go to the second song. Now another song's got it. All right, another all right, song. Patty. A lot of, a lot of money coming out for her. All right, here's the second song. Oh, lady's choice. Just keep thinking about how much your wrists hurt. Yeah, this will pay for that oh, arthritis very medicine. Very good song. Yeah. <laughs> there she goes. She's just popping. She's getting oh, back into she's it. She's rocking now. She's down to the satellite panties. Oof. You know, it's funny, the whole audience is still watching. Yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody took their money back. No, not he put, I'm not happy. <laughs> he got cha He made change. Oh, he made change. He put the Jew in the back. <laughs> what the fuck? Jew. She's not an ATM machine. The guy made change. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, Patty, you know what you got to do. All we right. got to get a few more bucks. Money shot. That's right, Patty. You know what you got to yeah. do. Put on your shirt. That's why, they, <laughs> that's why they call it the money shot, Patty. By the way, Patty will be available in the back room for blowjobs after this dance. Uh, in the champagne room, also known as our office. Patty working the pants. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> wow. Nick has turned away. What's wrong, Nick? That's great. Patty, slide it down. Patty. What are you doing? Patty, what are you doing? You're only getting changed because you're not yeah. giving the people what they want. Yeah. It's not like I've seen, covering I've seen more attractive dancers than Mos Eisley. <laughs> What's that? That's Spaceport from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, what are you doing? You, you got to remove the, the panties. And then the money will be a fly. Come on, Patty. Show the pink and the brown. Yeah. Some pink and some stink, Patty. All right, All right here we go. She is totally nude. There she goes. Totally nude. Totally nude. Patty, you should be in the clubhouse. Show them ass crack. That's good. Bend all the way over, Patty. Wow. Way over. Slap that ass. Slap that ass. You gotta turn around and slap the ass. Sl do the ass slap. Look over your shoulder and slap your ass. There you go. God. Please, God. Please, God, make that crane collapse on us now. <laughs> uh, wow, Patty. Patty has a nice rump. Jesus Christ. You, would you tag that? Would you, you, would you tag that? Would you, like... Tag it? Patty? Not if it was... Tag it like a fucking like a, rhino. Like a fucking elk with a disease. <laughs> a disease. 
<laughs> wow. No, there it is. Patty. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Stalker Patty. Make sure you tip her uh, and very well. It was half dance, half gynecological exam. <laughs> Good job. I don't know what the fuck nice that going, was. Nice going, Patty. She has wow, a nice Patty. shorts if you're in fucking Kentucky noodling. <laughs> <laughs> noodling. See, well, Patty. Pat, oh, here well, she goes. Patty. Now, yeah. you, now you only owe 60 bucks to fuck the next. There you go. You're yeah. paying off that debt. Boy, are you. You, Danny, can make, uh, you can make some money doing that on a nightly basis. Danny, how much did she collect? <laughs> she made a fantastic 25 bucks. <laughs> 25 bucks. Not bad. 25 bucks for a life. $25. <laughs> Patty, you want to do individual lap dances now? And, uh... <laughs> I don't mind. No, no. Uh, <laughs> there's our listeners. <coughs> Look at her picking up her money like a real stripper. She sure She's is. Like, do you validate? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. All right, Patty. Good job, Patty. Not bad, Patty. Seriously. Yeah, she was working the pole. Well, You're not yeah. shy. Oh, yeah. You're shy. You fucked me yeah. in a fake vagina and they took off your clothes for money. You're not shy. <laughs> okay, You're an toy. Amish hooker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shy. She strapped out a fake cock and gave me the business. <laughs> How are you? I licked your nipples. How are you shy? You just did two f fucking dances for money. Naked. Naked. Completely naked. You're not. That's not shy, Patty. And that awful dance. Robert De Niro. <laughs> she yes. danced like the fucking robot on the front of that Queen album. News of the world. Very much. What's that? What? I, I usually don't talk very much. I'm a quiet person. Oh, you do, you yeah. don't shut up. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus man. Christ, I'm emotionally scarred from this day. Yeah, yeah. yeah this one's going to stick with me. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else to do except uh, line of the day. So line of the day. The Wrap angle it up. I was at was like watching <sighs> Billy and Bear put on his under. <laughs> <laughs> Look right. at that fucking mess. I still can't get over it. Line, line of the day of is brought oh, to you by... Oh, I thought you meant Patty again. Yes. Oh. <laughs> He's looking at yeah, the what's, crane. What's the bigger wreck? <laughs> like, what's the, <laughs> the bigger wreck? <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Yam from Massachusetts. He says it all. He goes... She's making money to pay off XM, but XM is making more money off of, of her. I love the irony. <laughs> yeah, it's just a vicious circle here. <laughs> Don, fucking pay Patty's XM How bill. does Patty not have a free XM? Like, Patty, if you had any sense of fucking she does pride or balls, you'd walk up to Don Wicklin and go, Hey, give me a fucking subscription in a radio. She does more and radio. Go, Show me your pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she does right. more radio than Fez. Yeah, she should be paid. <laughs> Ron Fez, I, to three. I would never walk up to someone like that. I oh, it's really only Don Wicklin. Oh, she's well. still doing the shy act. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I would never. I would never yeah. do that. I would never. Give me your balls. Yeah. Let me teabag me. I'm a shy girl. <laughs> Give me yeah. a Roman wool helmet. <laughs> But that's the furthest I'm going to go because I'm, I'm a not, shy girl. I'm not going any further. <laughs> right. I know, five minutes later, she's in a tub with a Japanese guy putting an eel in her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been paying my own bill for... Oh, All right, right, we All know. Right. We don't Good care. Good for you, Pat. How about you get another girl and shit in a cup and eat it? <laughs> that's right. I'll do that. I'm but shy. Two retards, one cup. video didn't work. Oh, right. Yeah, I've never seen it. Oh, you haven't seen that one? No. Oh, all right. So. I think we ought to cue. Oh, I think we ought to cue that up. All right, well, you could, All right, Patty, get over here. Mile. Come I'm here, Patty. Getting queasy, I swear to God. Patty, get, it, it, uh, right in that seat there, so you get a good view over here, Patty, and you'll see another complete yeah. disaster. Relax, Patty. Yeah, I'll tell you this, Sam. Man, Patty, if you do what you see in this video, I'll give you a thousand dollars cash on the spot. Where's wow. Sam? Oh. Sam Park. Opie, I'll give you two thousand if you don't make her do. Wait, not yet. We gotta wait for Sam to sit down. Two girls, yeah, one cup. Stalker oh, Patty's gonna watch two girls, one well, cup. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Get the camera. Yeah, let's. Uh, no, hey, Patty, get on mic. Will you pull the mic close to you? She just doesn't. You don't know how to. Right there. There you yeah, go. Turn that way. Pull the mic toward right. your face now. All right. This is two girls, one cup with Stalker Patty. Put the mic near your mouth. God damn it, Patty. Yeah, don't look away. No, turn it. There. There you go. Don't close your eyes. Don't look away. This reminds yeah, me okay. of my job at Dairy wait, Queen. Wait, here we go. Oh, she went to the bathroom. <laughs> what makes you say that? Bathroom. 
Patty. Patty, you got to look. Look. What are they doing, Patty? Patty, watch it. Hold on, we stop the tape. See what happens? Now rewind. What are they no. doing, Patty? You gotta describe it. It's, com radio. it's a commercial for Tic Tacs. They're eating it like an ice cream cone. They must be on drugs. Look, Look Patty, Patty, you gotta, gotta watch. Rewind. If you don't watch, we're gonna rewind until you watch the whole God, thing. The and we'll fuck? make you do this. No. Oh Patty, watch. God. It's this. Disgusting! <laughs> Patty, don't make us fucking pin your eyes open like Alex <laughs> in clockwork. What's going on, Patty? Explain. Yeah, what's they're going throwing on? it up! I think and they're eating it! <laughs> they gotta be on freaking drugs! They have to be oh, on drugs. Nice up shit or shake something. right in the mouth. <laughs> they have to be on Coked drugs. Coked up, yeah, because when I've done Coke, that's no the first thing I want. It's a nice heap and help and a shit. No normal person would do that. Exactly, Patty. Right. They would have Patty. to be freaking high. Did you know what the weird part is? They got a clean bill of health from yep. the doctors. See? Yeah. Do you ever think Al Qaeda has it's a point? It's disgusting. <laughs> okay, bring in the cup of shit. Oh, Patty. Stop. No. Yeah, bring it in. Bring in the cup oh, of shit. Oh, hell no. Patty. Patty. I will not do for, it. For all of your debt, $3,000. What, no. what, what, what won't you do? I won't do that. Do what? Put it in do my what? mouth. Put what in your mouth? The shit. <laughs> Sorry. For three thousand dollars. No. Cash not on the cash. cash right here. I will not. Three thousand dollars. Oh fuck eat. it. Five thousand dollars. Five grand. Oh, Bring in the shit. To eat. Bring in the no. shit. A cup of shit. No. You just gotta lick it like an ice cream and then swallow what's on your tongue. Let someone puke in your mouth for a thousand. No. What? Seven thousand dollars. Patty. No. Seven thousand dollars. I can't. That's disgusting. Oh, yeah. oh well, she's, she's not paying attention now as much. That's, that's what? disgusting. And we know it's disgusting. But you, you're not. You don't have to sell us on the yeah, point that it's disgusting. No one's giving you the seven the grand. Price. You no one's giving you seven grand to fucking lick real ice cream. <laughs> yeah, you won't be fucking in debt anymore. Candy. No. You won't be in debt. Go. Here's some Bazooka Joe bubble gum. Eighteen thousand dollars. <laughs> no. what, what do you expect? It's shit. Oh, Think of no. it as chunky monkey. <laughs> Uh, no, Come on, Patty. I guess I'm throwing up just thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not. He's got a very. Yeah. All right, All right, we'll, All right we'll give you twelve grand to lick Iraq's tongue. Oh wow, that's <laughs> wow. That's um, that's mean. Uh, that's very nasty. I, I'm sorry, you're right. Two girls, one puke shirt. <laughs> Boo. Uh, uh, boo. They gotta be on drugs. How much would it cost? No, no. For you to eat, Wait, for you to lick some? shit. No, I will not do How that. How much? No one, no normal person Fifth, in the world uh, would, would you do, do it that. for ten million dollars? Yeah. Would you do it for ten million dollars? I gotta pee. Yeah, but then the okay. whole world would uh, know. All right, all right, yeah, right. But you would rich. do it. You would do I it. I don't think so, no. Right. Ten million? You wouldn't lick shit? No. All right, You're Aunt. crazy. All right. I am. We rarely do this, but we'll throw in an XM radio, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a deal breaker. I already have one. Oh. Oh, no. well. Well, look, you let us down again, Patty. What can I tell I you? I can't. Huh? I'm sorry. Same old boring not eating shit. shit. can't believe it. Huh? I can't believe it. Right. Can't shit. Sorry. All right. Can, can she like uh, talk us through the video again? Just Patty, I want to hear. You have to describe it for the audience. They haven't yeah. seen this video. I gotta see it again. Right, well, you gotta again. talk through the whole thing and let us know what's going on. Okay? Could you play with your the whole time? Yeah. Be a professional broadcaster. All right. Yeah. You talk through the whole video. It's about forty seconds long. Here we go, Patty. Tell the radio world what's going on right from the beginning and go. They're licking each other's boobs. Well, no, the one girl's licking the other girl's boobs, and at the same time, she's going to the bathroom in a cup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're licking it like it's an ice cream cone. Uh -huh, keep going. The tongues are going in and out, and they're acting like they're enjoying it, mm -hmm. which I can't imagine. And she's eating it. She's swallowing it. And she's smiling. And now they're... Throwing it up in each other's mouths, and oh, she threw it up, and this other one is gonna eat it. <laughs> oh God! Now it's falling all over the other one's boobs. 
And now the dark kid, oh, and now she threw up again, and the other one's eating it. And, of course, I'm not going to eat for the rest of the day. Hey, right on. Yeah. All right, Patty. Nice. nice description. Yes. All right. That was good. Mm. Are we going to do line of the day now? Yeah. What I else think, can we fucking do with this fun. thing? Patty, <laughs> let's just toss her out the window. <laughs> right. Wouldn't that be fun to just throw her out the window and watch her hit the sidewalk? God, I'd laugh. No, you Sorry, wouldn't. Patty. I just thought it would kind of <laughs> right. be fun. Line of the Day is brought to you by CardScan. Get all of your contacts organized in just a few seconds. Check out the device that nobody should be without at uh, uh, CardScan.com slash Radio 1. Here is a runner-up line of the day. <laughs> yeah, like he had no control yeah. of his own ass. <laughs> He's... I'm the ripper. Was, was <laughs> I, I ripped one, ripper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Great reaction from the studio audience after that <laughs> runner-up oh. line of the day. It was funny at the time. Uh, here's the next one. Yeah. Unless you say you want to see the head bob for a few minutes. Whatever. You know, it's, right. you want the games on. You're right. Mood for it. Yeah. You're used to it. Yeah. Your new girlfriend had dental surgery due to a misunderstanding <laughs> about politics. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You guys have fun out there? Yeah. yeah. Nice, huh? Making us work on a Friday. We'd call these Friday shows in if the audience didn't show up. <laughs> uh, here's another runner-up line of the day. Uh, Terrell Owens uh, showed up at the wrong place, so he's going to be here any second. Yeah, he's a, he's a half a block away. Is yeah. he the spokesman for Alzheimer's? Yeah, that's what he's going to talk about today. He showed up the wrong address. <laughs> <laughs> that's a damn good point. Nick DiPaolo, Caroline, two oh, shows tonight damn. only. Oh, it was good. In Times Square, 212-757-4100. Highly recommend you guys go see Nick tonight <coughs> if you don't have plans. Uh, one, one more runner-up. One more runner-up. Yeah. What if What if your husband, Vic, your boyfriend who you were in love with, <laughs> <laughs> when you were kissing? <laughs> this Vic is something. Yeah, if he, he said, Patty. I need to get popped in the shitter. <laughs> 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 hey. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. You're welcome. Do you like us better than Ron and Fez? I love you all the same. Oh boy, see, I it's love slowly that changing. Too well see? Wow. That's what they say first. You're and all then... dear in my heart. Half politician, half whore. <laughs> but but you, if you had to choose, which show would you choose? I w if you had to. If I had to choose, Sean well, Hannity. My first, well, you know, I my first love was always the Opie and Anthony show. Was. Mm -hmm. You know, because of which the longest, and then Opie. Ron and Fez would be. Almost tied, you know, but I love them both the same. <clears throat> but you have to God. choose. It's either that or a beheading. That so was a great choose. Hillary Clinton fucking answer yeah. she's giving. You got to choose. Well, I love them both. I, They're great. Really? Fucking Howard Dean over there. <laughs> you, you have to choose, Patty. I'm sorry. I choose. Have to choose. If you had to choose one show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to be beheaded. Yeah. The, I would have to go with the first show. That I've been involved with, that yeah. Sophie and Anthony. Let's say that crane across the street is going to collapse and yeah. crush this studio and kill one of the shows. Oh, I don't think Either that. I don't... Opie and Anthony, morning or, or midday. When does it happen? It would happen at night when nobody was No! Good no. no. answer. No. No. I don't want to kill anyone. No. no. A show, yeah, one one of the shows me. has to get crushed by the crane. You have to because it's either that or beheading. What show gets crushed by the crane? Yeah. I, I don't what kill What show would anybody. you rather? What you show? Are, you are God for, for a day and you have to make this collapse. Look, Anthony, let's make Who it a little, a little easier. Show? We don't know if they're going to die, but the crane definitely will come right through the studio ceiling. Yeah. So what do you think? What, what, can I have everybody show? get away and escape? What show? What show? What show gets the crane? What show is uh, is here live when yeah. the crane collapses? Yeah, what show? Come on, Patty. Mad money. It's, it's either that or beheading. It's up to you. Oh, I don't want to pick and choose. Bring in the sword. Shows. What show? <laughs> Come on, infidel. All right, we'll add big uh, Kev's uh, geek stuff, too. Uh, oh, wow. Well. <laughs> no, there's, there's a no-brainer. No, nobody would die. No, you have to choose. Pick a show. Yeah. Who's underneath the crane wreckage? Iraq. Who are they pulling out from the wreckage? You're in Iraq beheading if you don't answer. What do you got? They're not pulling anybody out because everyone's going to get Who's out alive. bloody red head are yeah. they pulling out from uh, under the wreckage? You're making me do something extremely heartbreaking and hard because I love you Make both. a choice. I what can't... show? You have to make a choice. I just couldn't. 
You have to. It's either that or beheading. Patty. Patty, I got I'm an 8 o'clock show you. at Caroline's. Make yeah. the fucking choice. I'm going to punch you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Patty, no. it's not really happening, okay? But you so just to. fucking make a, sh a choice. Just pick one. Patty. Pick one. What show? Oh, I don't want to say. Who just it. say it. Who gets the crane? Who gets the Come crane? on. Penn Gillette. Who gets the crane? <laughs> um. Crashing through the ceiling. Of Come the on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Jim God. Carter. You're doing something with my mind. Right. Just say it. <laughs> Come on. What's left of it? <laughs> Patty. All you, right. Oh, God. I'm just say it. You have to say, say it. it. What, are you sleeping with Fez? What the fuck? It's an obvious answer. <laughs> Patty. Oh. Uh, Come, Come on. on. <laughs> what show gets the crane? You got five seconds, or I'm taking that duct tape and putting it on your head and tearing it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Opie and Anthony, you know, I guess the morning show would be safe. There would be. Oh, you know, boy. Ron Ronnie's knocking. Ron and Fett, you wish Ron and Fett got crushed by a crane? You suck. Oh, my God. I can't believe you wish death on Ron and Fett. I did. In a horrible crane accident. We were testing you. You don't answer that question. You don't ever answer it. That's why I did. That's you wish to say it. who your favorite oh show my is, but God. you wish death I, I can't believe it. you wished a crane collapses on the Ron and Fez show. May the Lord no. strike you down at Starbucks. Oh, you're no, horrible. I don't mean it, though. What a this horrible, is, oh heartless God. bitch you are. No. Oh, I so gotta I apologize to the Ron and Fez show. is one of the sweetest guys ever, and you want him to be pulled dead from the wreckage of a crane collapse. That's what you said. That's what you said. Holy shit, Dave is a brand new dad. And you want a widow no. and an orphan no. left no. as they pull his lifeless body out of the no. bottom of a wrecked pile of cranes? And Ronnie, no. oh, you are. And emotion. Ronnie has suffered enough Ronnie. trying to keep that whole goddamn show together. Oh, no. please. Ronnie would probably oh, be the only one oh. happy that it happened. No. He'd be like, thank God I'm being crushed. Yeah. It's, no. more, it's more painless than this, doing this show. If uh, You and, know what? Nobody would have a show in the afternoon. Everybody would be on in the evening. It's too late, Patty. Too late. You wished uh, the crane falls on them. No, I didn't. falls on them. How are you going to do an evening show if the crane falls in right. the air. What the fuck, Patty? <laughs> you know I don't mean it. No, you said no, it. But you now that Ronnie me. and Fez and Eastside gonna... Dave and the crew, they cannot do radio anymore, no. who gets to do Uninformed now? Because now that's uh, yep. no. that's got to go on. Well, who does Uninformed wow, if Ronnie can't? You are well, cruel. considering that none of this is real. Well, All right, but who does, who does a... Uninformed now that it... Ronnie can't? Look out the window. What's there? Yeah, there's a crane. fucking crane. Just teetering out there. Not real? What do you see there? I don't see a crane. I see a crane. Right there. That's a crane. It's got Fez's name on it. It's not even pointed this way. It, it, yeah. it, it, Wait, does it fall, dummy? No, I love the wall. Who does uninformed now that Holy Ronnie shit. can't do it? No, like I love Bill the wall. Bill Burr and Joe DeRosa. This is like a bad father's abuse. Oh, I have more love oh, for I'm everybody on XM than anybody in the world. You know that. This is like fucking torture. All right, they ought to fucking let us loose at Guantanamo. Oh, my God. Well, I Ronnie's not going to be happy when he hears this. Look at old Governor Squinty. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Look at him. Oh, God. Oh, is that, oh, is that awful? He's not, he's not fucking blind. He's exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, let the ambient wear off oh, before you do a press conference. Oh, Look at this guy. Dude. Bloomberg is boring the shit out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's turn him away from the sun. Oh. He's something enough. What a fucking, yeah. what a bright future the city has. Oh, fuck. Go to MSNBC if you want to enjoy uh, what we just saw. He's, th he's actually looking into the sun. He has no idea. <laughs> There's just smoke coming out of his ears. It, it is looks that like a flashlight, I feel? No, it's a star. <laughs> it looks like he's ready to sneeze at any moment. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. God. Someone wake up the governor. Uh, 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 I'm a what? <laughs> I, think he's, I think he's doing this in honor of Harvey Corman passing away. Oh. <laughs> Moment of oh. silence. Think about that one. Wow, think, he could just think. He Whoa. could just stand there. It's like he's dozing oh, off. Try to, oh, and then he opens his eyes like, uh... Why? <laughs> What's he doing? I don't know, there's probably bed bugs on them. It's like Jose Feliciano when he sings. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ties all crooked. <laughs> no, his tie is crooked. Oh, his tie is crooked. Oh, tie is crooked. Oh. oh my god, this is horrible. Jesus. And he's gonna balance the budget. <laughs> oh. 
going to take the mic. This is one of the worst catastrophes I've ever smelled. <laughs> Which is a catastrophe. Oh, oh, <laughs> fuck, it stinks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Damn it. He's not um, even near the site. He's at like a parking lot in Duncan Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> As we look upon this wreckage yes. around me. He's faced the wrong way. He's looking. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a, uh, he's in a oh. rest area on the fucking turnpike. <laughs> oh, what a fucking sad sack he looks wow, like. Wow, that, oh is, a, that is a... He's got to get sunglasses. He looks like he's dozing off. He really does. Yeah, he's ready but for sunglasses. But that's appropriate. You know? He's, he's ready Romberg. for sunglasses. Well, he just had cataract surgery. <laughs> uh, what? Oh. Don't he bring the Chinese into this exactly. family. <laughs> I don't care about his car. Oh. He's all... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh shit, Jimmy! <laughs> Don't care about his car. How about this one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Cataract. I think it's time for the line of the day. Oh, yeah. oh, he's gonna speak. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. I uh, pot him up. He's not even into Put the him mic. Put the no. mic. And sympathy, and our prayers go out to the family of the construction worker killed and two construction workers who are in serious condition as we speak. This is a terrible tragedy. The witnesses to the to the incident. A terrible I'm informed by well, those President Springer who got oh. here pretty quickly after the incident. They let me steer the very, plane very for them. <laughs> about the Office of Emergency Management it got and all the hand. services that uh, the mayor's they office provided. You should know that right. mayor, <laughs> that the residents here were very, very oh. much uh, impressed by how quickly and how uh, say, professionally they operated. When this is all over, My dog we're going to have crushed. to take a look at these crane accidents on March 15th, two days before we I was sworn in. Exactly. We had to go to take 51st to Street them. for My a similar dog. incident. Uh, I'm going to ask the Department of Labor and also uh, the Department of Housing and Community Renewal to yeah. look into this eyes. a little further. Yes, There's gotta look into no it. need to speculate now on exactly. how this happened. That will all be investigated, a crane fell. but certainly these types of accidents are all uh, too frequent. Excuse me, Thank I'm you. headed to Pearl. Uh, let me just summarize and we'll take a couple of questions. Uh, yes. One fatality, two one seriously fatality, injured, all construction workers, <laughs> one pedestrian, minor injury. Happened about 8 this morning. It is incidentally a left. different type of crane <laughs> from the one that collapsed on 50... Uh, oh, God, give him some Visine. That looks painful. <laughs> Patterson... It's fucking high as a kite. Look at him. Dry eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, what did he get? Some dust stuff on the accident okay. in his yeah. eyes? <laughs> Useless ping pong balls in his head. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> his eyes should be coming out of a Vietnamese girl's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Bravo. Oh, ooh, an Aggie. <laughs> All right, why don't we do line of the day? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh, fucking good idea. Jesus Christ. That Jasper eyed idiot. <laughs> Too fucking. Awful glass thing oh, in his head, looking so, the wrong way. So, one goes this way, one goes that way, and a big nose in the middle going, what do you want from me? <laughs> Who trims his mustache? Come on, on. He's not blind. Gotta give him a Hitler mustache as a little joke. That'd be funny. He walks around all day with a Hitler mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Fuhrer of New York. The Jews are up in arms. Mm. Let's do line of the day. Ah, line of the day, oh, that's right. <laughs> Here comes, comes, light of the day, light of the day, light of the day. Roland has, <laughs> oh, Roland has two emotions. Touch him the same way his brother dog is. Still, wow. Is it still dead? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This is the best transformation I have ever seen. Oh my god. I should be in a movie. My condolences. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be a great role in My there. favorite part, by the way, is when he goes, he's still dead. And he goes, here, boy. <laughs> Did you catch here, boy? He said, here, boy. Can you play that one more time? Holy you gotta catch, shit. Let's catch here, boy. Roland has, <laughs> Roland has two he emotions. He must touch him the same way his brother dog is. Is, still, wow. is still dead? <laughs> <laughs> here, boy. What the fuck? I've ever seen. Oh my god. That guy should be in a movie. My condolences. Here, boy. Here, boy. Here, boy. What a cruel man he is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Get me those for my replay for oh, fucking that's... Monday. That laugh. Can I say one last oh, thing? Oh, we'd appreciate oh, it. Yeah. Jesus. Ryan Fez, 12 to 3, and oh, I love you. It's yeah. too late. People it's you want, it people you no want crushed horribly it's crushed horribly in a crane accident. It's too late. No. I apologize yeah. to <laughs> Patty. To Ronnie. Wow. For myself and Patty, I didn't know the name of Ronnie's special show. <laughs> An idiot I am. You've, you've wished uh, hor horrific things on those yeah. guys. I didn't God, wish God, how anything. awful that would be. You know be trapped it. under yeah. rubble. Think of poor silly. Fez, how he'd feel. He doesn't right. like tunnels and yeah. stuff, and he'd be trapped underneath crane no, wreckage because well, you, you, because you said so. Have, have fun <laughs> wow. trying to sleep tonight. Along no, with your thoughts. No. <laughs> oh, I, no. I used to do this in school all the time with people. Just spend hours. All right, oh we got to go home. Like a little Gestapo. <laughs> you guys, let's hear for Nick DiPaolo. Nick oh, gets a net. <laughs> Nick and Caroline's tonight. That's fantastic. Thank you for having me, folks. I and, appreciate uh, it. We're broadcasting live from Boston on Monday, so we'll see you guys real soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>